Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another week of RGL playoffs, and therefore another week of uh, Blanc TV. You know how we do it around these parts. We got amateur today, so again, continuing the uh, you know the division world tour, whatever you want to call it. We are in uh, quarterfinals now for the amateur division. We have the number three seeded Prestige Worldwide versus the number six seeded Somos Las Ratas, which uh, stands for We Are the Rats, for those of you who might not know Spanish. Uh, I am Terry. I am joined by the biggest number seven in the world, JoJo. How are you today, my friend? I'm, I'm doing all right. Uh, had a roller coaster of a day, but here to watch TF2, so pretty excited. Yes, sir. We're gonna we're gonna relax with some amateur. We're gonna hopefully have a super ex well. Okay, you know what? Look, as as always with every cast, we want it to be exciting, and uh, you know we never want to see just like one team steamroll another, especially not in the playoffs in the regular season. It's like whatever, sure. But um, you know this is now where now now this is where the the big plays get made. Um, losers will go home. They get eliminated. Winners go on to uh, you know semis so um, I'm gonna quickly run down the rosters because just I have it right out in front of me as you can see on the screen prestige worldwide got some old ESEA names for those of you who might have played back then if you're a TF2 boomer we got juggernaut playing medic neem on demo man yang and golly wobbler on soldier I was told that Chris has COVID so prayers for him hopefully he's okay um so I don't know if he's playing but maybe they're not alias whatever but him slash the ringer and then Trizza will be on scout and then over on the right that's the side. We got Exelor, fan favorite. Everybody loves Exelor. He's kind of crazy. He's played like three different classes already in RGL so far. Uh, he and Tomoko are on Scout. Gabriel and Javier on Soldier. Peachy on Demoman and Okayu on Medic. Um, yeah, I can't imagine you know too, too much about these players, but I'm just gonna get into the get into the game real quick. No, I can't say that I do. I I I've met Juggernaut at LAN one time. Uh, he was all right. And that's it. That's about the whole story. Unfortunately, I wish I had some some spicy drama for you. Yeah, you know, no H box, no H box, uh, no -box story at the at the streetlights or whatever. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> Golly Wobbler, Golly Wobbler, and Juggernaut previously played on a team back in EAC Open called Power Surge. Golly is of course a, a medic player. Well, not, I shouldn't say of course, but he's a medic player. He's off classing to Soldier. He did play Soldier, I think, either la last season or the one before that. And then Juggernaut was the demo or soldier and now he's playing uh, now he's playing medic so the, the roles have flipped for those two guys they've again they've been teammates for quite a long time and now they're now they're killing it in amateur playoffs as the the number three seed uh, as far as Exelor's squad goes again I only really know Exelor having first discovered him when I was casting you know back in I don't even remember which season it was now maybe season three um, and he's he was first playing demo man but he's played soldier and now he's playing scout this season so he's just kind of you know going around the carousel picking a, maybe next <laughs> season maybe next season will be playing medic and amateur or something who knows um but yeah so these are the number three and the number six seeds so, which means they took care of business uh, last round of playoffs um and now you know they're gonna meet up here in theory should be closer because again third seed six seed i don't think they played in the regular season um and speaking of like playing, our maps, I'll double check, our maps are going to be Metalworks, and then Gullywash, and then Sunshine if necessary. So we got two, um, you know, Jojo, we got two maps coming up first that are pretty soldier friendly. You know, Metalworks and, and Gullywash, they can be uh, quite less painful, shall we say, for soldiers mm -hmm. compared to something like Process and Sunshine. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've seen Gullywash play soldier. I've casted him playing soldier before. He can, he, can, he can do some damage, but we're actually just going to go live. Uh, who are you interested in watching on this very first mid? Uh, definitely one of the demos. Let me see. I'm going to watch Chippy. Alright, well, we're going to see Chippy take his first jump. They're pretty solid out to the shutter. Take his second jump, and, you know, I mean, this is He's one of the easiest player. rollouts. Yeah, he will be pretty low, but not before this health pack, uh, you know, patches him back up to a respectable 135. That scout's already firing, um... Uh, pistols from lower IT door as we are watching him just sit on balcony. Pretty Blue aggressive Guardian stuff. Has a lot of space yeah. on the right. Oh my god, and then the pipes from Chippy, but then oh hold on. Ooh. Red comes alive with three picks and Tomoko just has to run away. Um and yeah I think they're 
again, I, I don't really know what's going on with the pings in the server. There are four people with triple digits. I don't know how many of them are South American, how many of them have bad internet or whatever, but that's just kind of the, the, the hand that they are dealt. So just the we, way it goes. Yeah, we'll see Prestige just kind of walk for it. Look at Golly Wobbler. He's just, he, well, he had positioning. He, no he decided to back up. He has a little fear now. Or maybe he oh. just didn't, maybe he just needed ammo. But actually, hold on. They get Javier, and, and Golly's right back in it. This they actually used. Yeah, but, well, is it a trade? Because Okayu's on last and at 95% Uber. They did drop Chippy, but um, they are going to kill whoever put it in reverse Terry is. Maybe that's Trizza. <laughs> um, in any case, you know. Not really Seems much like of a maybe trade. He put it in reverse there. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, he got the demo, so you know, pretty, pretty worthwhile trade. So ratas are well, they have a heavy. I guess well, they have to wait for their demo man to come mm -hmm. back up. Uh, where are Neem? Neem's He's got going traps. He's back to switch though. Okay, Neem's got traps in left the uh, left lobby from the defending uh, team's perspective. So I mean. Andy's just kind of building away. Jug's already at 75%. So, Oh, and they also have Trizza on Sniper. Again, I'm just assuming this is Trizza. I'm assuming NDY is someone named Andy. Oh, he's going for the hero shot, maybe? He's They're peaking. at 95 already. Oh. This is not looking uh, good. Let's see if Blue Team calls this off. Well, Exelor is going right to the point, and they do use through the door, so they are going to be met with a rude awakening here. Assuming they get the force, yep. Yeah, Golly Wobbler does go down, so that's a nice pick here for Rathas. But... The, the red wave is coming in hot. Exelor actually just deletes that soldier. Uh, there is still the sniper, which means, yeah, no real uh, scout presence coming up from Prestige here. Though they are trading picks. It's kind of going all over the place. Tomoko gets a nice arrow. And, I mean, I think things are going to settle back down. And we just kind of saw an uber trade. Oh, Chippy dies. Ooh. I, th I think in that fight we saw our first real sign that these are some lower level teams. Blue team had so much space, x -Lore had everybody's eyes. If the rest of blue team would have just supported them three or four seconds sooner, it would have been an easy fight. But Speaking here of easy fight, yeah, I mean the sniper kills the heavy or helps the demo kill the heavy and they're just crashing onto the point. Although, although Prestige is actually bleeding out, three Good players down. Here, yeah. Oh, and the pipes from Chippy are dangerous, but the body shot, hold on, this sniper gets ubered? Can they kill the medic? The medic's at 99%. Oh my god, okay. He got the uber. Exelor. Surely this demo dies. Oh yeah. No, he's toast. Tomoko and Exelor are going to clean him up. And now Juggernaut is... Well... He's uh, he's still pretty healthy. Uh, and he has his respawners. And now Trizza does go down to Tomoko on the flank. So it's... Again, it's just kind of in chaos for the last like two minutes here. Uh, CR uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. I didn't. I bet you guys didn't know he was playing TF2, but uh, <laughs> he's in the server, and he does go down there, which means uh, you know Prestige will have to back up to mid. Um, we're seeing a you know pretty standard opening round here from both these teams. Nothing too you know unorthodox as we see the the, the valley push coming out now from Ratas. Exelord climbing up onto the banny spot above forward spawn, and uh, well. Neem opens up with a pick on Javier. That will that it looks spell... like they're gonna cancel this. Yeah, but it looks like just uh, you know lose one, back up. Backing up. They are in fact now putting it in reverse, as some might say. <laughs> Actually, Jug has a pretty sizable advantage here. Jojo, he's got 100 percent. Although Okayu is already at 85, so maybe not as sizable as I made it out to be. Um, I think Golly is playing Roamer, so I'm gonna go find his cam. Well, he's in house, so maybe not. Or they just haven't decided where he's going to sack from. Um, it looks like neither soldier is in position quite yet. Well, Ronaldo is now, you know, near underpass, so maybe it's it's one of these two soldiers. Surely, surely they'll sack. It looks like Trizza wants to be in. Oh, yeah, he's just in, and he just kills Chippy. So that's kind of like two times now where uh, the the rats, as I'm going to call them, have just let their demo man you know, fall to a single scout aggressing him. So they're going to need to do a better job of protecting that key, key, you know, area denier. Oh, but Neem? Nah, he's getting tanked. Oh, they yeah, actually used through. Out, yeah. Okay, it's a pretty even uber, but I think uh, Juggernaut had to flash one extra time here. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, though, we're just kind of chilling. Bing chilling, as John this Cena would say. Reset here. Yeah, Exelor's just doing a good job clearing stickies. Now he's going to go back to building. Um, pretty interesting. They sacked a scout, and then they also took an opportunity to trade. I have to imagine that's just 
part of Juggernaut and Golly Wobbler's experience coming into play there. Again, I don't really know how many other players outside of Trizza have been, you know, active or like how how high of a level they've been playing at. But got to imagine with Jug and Golly there, you know, they got some they got some good intel, some good insight. Yeah, a lot of old school experience there. Yeah, so I mean, welcome to Metalworks, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be staring at this stalemate for a while until somebody hits uh, a crazy air shot or gets the crazy force. Uh, I'm going to go find Cristiano Ronaldo. He's going to get two, 250, all right, you know. Uh, well, yeah, he wants more. There we go. Now he's going to actually just do a casual jump forward, just spamming down Javier from long range. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting him to go deep here, especially with, oh, well, Javier. they're trying to bait the soldier out. Ooh, and they get him down to about 38 HP, and they do get the kill, so good job from, I almost called them Power Surge, good job from Prestige, Prestige <laughs> Worldwide, and here comes Ronaldo, Ronaldo he's, he's in, coming yeah. in, oh, he gets he air piped, ooh, and good night, sir, Chippy. They have a lot of room on the point, though, already. Okay, looks like they're going to back up. Hmm. Well, maybe not, they're, no, they they're staying. Fight. They see their room. They want to take the trade. I'm watching Jug. Oh, they, and the force comes out from Okayu pretty early. Jug is not going to pop here. I can't... Oh, okay, he does pop late here. They should be able to collect these two kills as long as Gala comes it. flying in. Yeah, and Trizza is kind of a... Uh, well, he got he got the medic. He's trying to pistol down the demo. He does get it, but now he's fighting a 2v... What? What? Holy what right 90 LG. Thing? Excuse me? I really like the pressure that uh, that Red is putting on during, like in the openings of these fights. I it mean, feels like all six of their players are poking some door every time they're going for something. Uh, and off the back of that <laughs> that pistol spree, the uh, Prestige Worldwide <laughs> strikes first. A little early for the good half call coming out from Neem. A little bit of BM, maybe. I'm <laughs> going he, for the. He, he went for a GR. Yeah, he realized. Oh, GR. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, he okay. said GH. Gotcha, gotcha. Just a mental, mental uh, slip up here. <laughs> I'm gonna watch Neem this time though. Uh, last mid, actually, I already forgot who got the first kill. Is what Metal Works will do, do to your brain. But um, one team got, uh, you know, they lost the player and then they immediately bailed. It might be the similar story here, uh, with blue team being all posted up blue in their valley. Blue team separated a little bit. Oh, and Neem just has the height advantage. He's able to. Pretty much dump damage on, uh, at will, but though uh, Andy going down there, uh, will blue team kind of regroup and repush here? They they want to, but Juggernaut already. Both teams have Uber. That's how long this mid fight's been going on. But the thing is that Prestige are getting cap time, and they actually even get the mid cap before these Ubers come up. Both soldiers come flying in, but Jug drops That's Uber. That. What? Okay. Um. Chaos, and then. The rats. Probably while they're behind, do they know? Uh, they yeah, know, they like know. They Javier is shooting standing. rockets uh -huh. towards him. Uh, I would hate to see him go down to an air shot, and he won't get air shot, but he will actually get a kill, so what nice salvage. Uh, Jug is stuck in forward spawn, and he knows that Chippy is uh, sticky, sticky spawning, or spawn camping him, so he's just quick little back spawn away. Uh, I'm not sure what got the drop on Juggernaut at the tail end of that mid fight, but that proved costly here, Jojo, as uh, you know, the rats are, are knocking on the door to tie up this round, although it is... Well, they actually still have add too. So, even with the drop and then the pop, it's still pushable. It's only slight, but it is pushable. It is pushable. We'll see, we'll see what these amateur players are going to do. We'll see what Okayu calls. Yeah. So ninety percent. Oh, Trizza down to sixty HP. Oh, don't pull a banny here, my friend. That would be uh, not the time, especially when I was on your cam. <laughs> but okay, here comes. Here comes the Uber. Exelor has his melee out. I don't think he knows. Okay, all right. He's switching back in. Javier, Javier goes, goes down. down. They get the gun. Oh, Exelor on top of Neem, trying to connect the shots. Oh, but he goes down, and that's four players, five players down, as Juggernaut did uh, counter pop. And we will see Prestige hold on to their last. Where is Gabriel? He is in ramp he's room. Oh, he's going for a play, maybe. He's, oh, nope, he's going to escape through underpass. All right, so... Uh, now the shoe's on the other foot. Juggernaut is the player, or the medic, with uh, it's about 20% advantage here now. Mega 25. Uh, this uh, this point is pretty difficult to push into quickly, though, unless you bomb your demo man with an Uber. So, I uh, I don't know. Y you think we're going to see I, more of the 3-2 stalemate, or the mid-to-second stalemate I, here? I, I think so. I'd really like to see them uh, push and be into yard at 85% or so, so that way when they finally do get Uber, they're ready to pounce. 
And it looks like they are moving. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are going the long way, not through underpass, but through valley this time. Uh, and here we go. Akayu is already at 85%. Will they pop through this doorway here? Triza is going to clear stickies. They have taken too long, though. They will walk up on the yep. right side. Oh, the stickies do get debt on, they and the Ubers come out. Early. There's a player caught underneath. Oh, Gabriel kills a golly wobbler, but will go down to two scouts. Oh, man. Triza's kind of not missing right now. Although, there is just players all over the place. Look at Exelor. He wants to push him right if into Trisa the other team's house. If on the beam here, they can't lose this, surely, right? Yeah, Exelor's kind of, well, obviously distracted, but he's Ronaldo he's might get looking. something here. Yeah, he was looking, uh, Exelor was, looking for that soldier kill, because he, he must have heard the comms from his teammates that there was a soldier lurking around in Valley, and with Prestige now being three players dead, they'll have to pretty much forfeit second here, unless they chat it up. Uber's pretty much totally even. Yeah, dead get to Get to enjoy this stalemate. Hopefully not for too long. A little bit of a reprieve. Andy on Engineer, where his where is his loyal little sentry gun? No, it's just sitting right in front of spawn door for now. It's going to build it up to level 2. Uh, they also have Triza on Sniper again, so... Uh, I can't remember. Did he do stuff on it when uh, when he was on, on he, uh, Sniper Yeah, he helped earlier? kill a heavy. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Oh, had a chance to kill a scout, but, well, you know, it was just... Give him the little uh, the warning shot and then back up. Uh, between Gabriel and Javier, I'm gonna. <laughs> this is point discrimination, but I'm just gonna assume Javier is the roamer because <laughs> he's got six points. <laughs> uh, and uh, to be fair, sometimes Ronaldo like Ronaldo also has six points, so you know. Yeah, sometimes it, it just it just be like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, both teams just set up for the defense. Well, one team set up for the defense, the other team ready to try and break the stalemate. Okayu is standing in a non-snipable position. Uh, an NSP, if you will. Oh, here comes a, a little sap. The 1v1? <laughs> oh, he wins the 1v1. But uh, Neem will pipe him away for the domination kill at the end, too. That's kind of early. Right? Well, I guess we're 13 minutes in. What am I talking about? Triza gets jumped. I think jumped. the sentry gun actually floated him a little bit, so he was able to get high ground ah. there to win that 1v1. Okay, a little assist from the from the team. Uh, Javier is, well, he was holding the door open for a little bit. He's also on marker gardener, by the way, so that'll be fine. Um, oh, we didn't make our predictions, but it's fine. Whatever. I don't think we would have been able to <laughs> put up something meaningful, or not a lot of insight behind it, but, I mean, right now, there's really nobody else to watch besides, like, the sniper, really. I mean, he's not even that aggressive, so it's like, what do I do? Oh, he's on spy! Oh, and he's he checking can't classes. can't quite decide where he wants this gun. Well, he didn't even really check classes, did Trisa? He just went spy for like two seconds and then went right back to sniper. So I guess I'm just going to give him the cam until blue team decides to, to throw a body into last here. Oh! <laughs> Exelor runs right into the gun. <laughs> He's definitely going to go spy or sniper here. Uh, ah, last season, sniper, last right? season when he was on soldier, I casted a match of his where he went spy like three lives in a row. So trying to pull an alpha, ah, trying to pull show. a hard blue, the sideshow, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he's up in two seconds and it is... It's spy, because of course. I'd have lost that bet. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, he'll make his way there. I can conveniently flip between Trizza and Exelor's perspectives. Trizza's peeking right in through right lobby. Uh, had a chance at, uh, to kill Soldier, maybe, but we'll just kind of, again, reset. Exelor's sneaking in through the right side. He's in. Whether they definitely don't know yet. Yeah, Jug does have his back to a wall near the dispenser, though, and Exelor is actually going to decloak disguise as an enemy demo He's man. Here in. he goes. He's going to go for insane. the demo. Yeah, the, actually, Jug gets the kill, so hey, you know, put that in your back pocket. Oh, Trizza going for a hero shot or taking a ton of damage early left side. Ronaldo's in. Ronaldo. Very deep, getting a lot of damage. Yeah, and I... Not quite enough to do anything with, though. Yeah, it looks like things will once again settle back down. I'm honestly surprised Exelor didn't go spy again, but uh, maybe they'll try two men now. Um... I would say, you know, this is pretty on par for Metalworks pacing. We got one round in 15 minutes, one team is just stuck on holding glass, and it happens to be the team that's in the lead. Trizza's on Spy, this time I think he's checking off glass. No, he's actually out here. Uh, he is on the left side. Uh, there is a sack. Yep, yeah, there goes Javier. Did not get the force, so... He's got a, he's not Cloak and Dagger, so he needs to wait a really long time, although he has managed to slip through now. He could duck out into ramp room? Yeah. I wonder if this lack of a counter sack is gonna is gonna throw tip them, them off. off. Yeah. Well, or, tip them off. Yeah. Something might not quite be right. Also, Javier coming in. He has right. a chance to see. 
needs to be careful. Okay, he dips right through the ramp. Now he is technically in position. The question is, will the rest of Prestige Worldwide cause some commotion and, and draw the attention? He has decloaked. He's on the Enforcer? Excellent goes they down. Get a pick. Don't, why are you? Oh. oh my god. Okay, well, I mean, he did hit two shots of the Enforcer, but uh, that was not enough. Okayu was more than prepared uh, with the back against the wall, so neither spy really uh, doing much so far, but the knight is young here. We'll see if they can redeem themselves later. And actually, uh, you know, Golly and Triza both respawning at the same time, so no harm, no foul. Exelor's up on spy again. All right. <laughs> this is uh, attempt right. number three of these two I teams. I believe in the third attempt. Third time's the charm, as they say. Give, yeah. give me the 1-1, one, one, rats. <laughs> Well, he's waiting for his cloak, I would imagine. Actually, he's on default, I believe. Oh, he has slipped by the soldier. Here he goes again. Looks like he's going to go towards spawn this time. Andy he, is definitely spy checking. He took the ammo also. So, I mean, well, yep, he got called. Yep, all right. Wap, wap. So, uh, these uh, these guys in amateur got to work on their spy gameplay a little. Or maybe, uh, maybe you know, the, the team's just... They have the to... counter got spy gameplay is just too good. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta let the paranoia, I guess, settle in. Maybe that's maybe they're not even going for the stabs, you know? They want that, that mental damage. Yeah, uh, they gotta set that up early. <laughs> that way they're worried about it for the rest of the game. Exactly. The panic will set in later. But, I mean, we got four and a half minutes left, JoJo. So this, I don't think Prestige Worldwide are going to be moving. Or they're not going to be budging. Although Trizzle will go for the hero shot is what I assume. Andy not on Frontier Justice. Instead rocking the festive shotgun. What do you think about that? Uh, Frontier Justice overrated. Oh, and, and he's dead. Speaking of which. Oh, and then Exelor and Tomoko are dead. Actually, they Renato's used Uber. Go down here to crater. Okay, so three players dead, though Jug does still have his Uber, so as long as he doesn't get forced here, this should be fine. They pipe away Javier, does Neem, so he's kind of establishing himself as, you know, a really, really big playmaker. Although Jug does eat a ton of damage. Uh, they will, Chippy will essentially trade his life for that Uber force there. Uh... And I think Prestige should be able to cap up their second. I don't think... Yeah, no no, no gremlins going for last. Well, and, uh, you know, the timing works out that even Uber is pretty much... We're, we're back at it again. <laughs> Our favorite. I was, I was a bit worried about Chippy's uh, late death there for that Uber. Uh, but he ended up getting a little bit fortunate with a really fast spawn, so he's here to defend mid. Yeah, and, and with the Ubers pretty much being dead even, I can't imagine anybody moving off of it early. So, um, yeah, I mean, we just, we're just going to be sitting here and waiting. Goose man, hello. We got lots of fans of the Ratas. They are rooting for them. The, the, I guess the underdogs, just by definition of their seed. Again, I don't really know. Outside of Juggernaut and Gollywobbler, I don't really know how established the other players are at the lower levels. In any case, though, you know we're we're, we're getting what we asked. We're we're getting what was uh, advertised with Metalworks as map number one here for sure. Um, this time we'll see how the rats want to break this stalemate. I'm finding Javier. Uh, he's getting three hundo. He wants to go. No, he wants to go back and forth in the little ramp. Okay, now okay. they're moving their heels. They're going to bring all their heels, yeah. Okay, yeah, pretty standard stuff. They're going to push one soldier first. Gabriel probably doing the fake. And now here Gabriel's comes Javier. Dead. Javier lands right on top of Neem and does actually get three clean rockets into him. So a pretty Gabriel's solid trade. Gabriel's still in. He yeah, might Gabriel, be a Oh, my God. He's owning the scout. Oh, <gasps> destroys Trizza. And now Blue should be able to walk in scot-free. They get a third pick on a golly wobbler. Gabriel Rinaldo, does finally die. They, they clean him up. They sacked four, and they got Okayu down to 40 HP, but he did not pop to that. So this is a great opportunity here for the rats to tie things up as long as they don't explode going through the they're shutter door. They're only walking with three players here. I don't really like yeah, this. Yeah, they're going to Uber in, and, and Juggernaut has not popped whatsoever. Finally popping now. Will Okayu get caught here at the tail end of this Uber? It looks like he, they, he will escape, uh, but not Chippy, though. Uh, Juggernaut being body blocked by a scout? Oh, he got hit with a fr pretty meaty shot for the first one, but Exelor did go down. Two down here, including a demo. You gotta expect to push right now, don't you? And here they come. Yep. Looks, Looks like Blue's pretty much respecting it. Well, that, Gabriel. Gabriel. Oh, Javier is also and going mind, in. Ooh, a little bit of a feeding tin there coming out from uh, Blue side, so... <laughs> back back to square one on mid even who, well actually no yeah, not two even soldiers reverse. down this should be an easy push also as long true as don't get caught up by a trap yeah i don't really know where uh chippy put his stickies i just see some warning it's on, it's on the on blue crates, crates there, yeah like. okay 
and they and will uh, they'll just vacate the premises here. Blue saying to sub sub uh, sub them in next round. I don't know about that one. Um, I think they're unless some technical issues rise up. Can't expect any shenanigans to change, but it is TF2, so it wouldn't be a castle without something going wrong later down the line. Uh, in any event, though, even Ubers, nine minutes left now in this round number two. So, uh, you know, if you're the rats, the ratas, you are hoping to, you know, either keep it a 1 0 score at the half or claw your way back in. There's a sack There's coming in. in. Once yeah. again. Tris, they, they, I, why do you, what do you think about this, JoJo? They're sacking scouts instead of, like, a soldier. So. On one hand, it's it's surely it's much less likely to work. Um, on the other hand, it gives it gives Trizzy the opportunity to off class. Let's let's see if he does. Yeah, uh, Javier did go in for a mm -hmm. pretty late counter sack. I'm not gonna lie, 15 seconds on his respawn. Trizzy does come up sniper. So yeah, I mean, at the same on one hand, like you said, uh, it's easier for the scout to off class, but you can just sack a soldier and have the have yeah, the scout the door, dude run yeah. back. Yeah, I mean, you know the other team ain't gonna. They clearly haven't shown the propensity to push off of a single player advantage so far. So, uh, Javier on Spy, by the way. So now again, the off classes, the pick classes, just coming out in full force as the you know the very stalematey action on Metalworks goes. <gasps> okay, all right. He had a chance to to rip off Okayu's head. Exelor is instead going to find the respawn queue. He's actually going to go Valley now. Is Triza? He's, he's by himself. If anyone realizes. Oh my he's God! Alive, he's dead. Okay, he body shot a soldier and he will go down. Tomoko cleans him up. A uh, little bit of a, uh, a little bit scary, but maybe Javier will now counter sack again. Actually, no. Actually, Exelor is up on Spy again. So <laughs> fourth time yeah, to the charm? Question mark. Even if we've already seen a few stalemates here, we can't fault them for not trying to break it. Oh yeah, no. The, both teams have been throwing all the uh, the off class kitchen sink at the other team. He's waiting for the ammo though. It's, oh, nice, perfect timing. Almost. And he is now in a position behind the demo and the soldier. He's not disguised. Okay, now he is disguised as a demo man, though. He's going to walk in, and he beeps his stab, and he butter knocks oh, the soldier, and wah, wah, yet again. So, uh, the overall timer is just ahead of the round timer. Uh, so, we'll, we'll see what happens. It looks like the underpass push. They actually get Javier as well. So, now, here's that window. The soldier Ronaldo's comes flying in. in. Yeah, Ronaldo. Oh, it's taken of care of. The force comes out. Oh, the medic popped to save Gabriel. I don't know how I feel Golly about it. The pack. This is going to be a trouncing if Red gets a good Uber here. Oh, yeah. That's... Tomoko is also only 5 HP. Oh, and the he pipes in. This will be a round here for Prestige Worldwide. Unless the soldier just hit some the nutty air shots. Lifetime. He got Golly, but that is not anywhere near enough. Out. Yeah. So that will be Prestige taking a 2-0 lead. Uh... You know, gaining some momentum, or at least establishing themselves uh, so far in this uh, half number one. My my prediction is that uh, Prestige is going to ride that momentum through mid and ride on the last, and we're going to finish up with a with a three o half here. You're predicting a ninety second round here, maybe. Mm, yeah. All right. Let's you know what, let's let's watch our my good our good friend Golly Wobbler. Uh, we'll see what he can do here. He's gonna roll out through the lower door. He's gonna fire some pre-fire rockets. Go for the pre-fire air shot immediately. Jump up onto his balk and then drop back down. Now he's gonna take control over the point on the left, trying to go for air shots. He's getting really, really low. Nice arrow from Juggernaut to help him out there. He can get rebuffed and uh, again more aggression, more positioning from Red Team. So Prestige has control of the point pretty much. I already got it half capped even. Now here comes the Golly Bomb. Ooh, but a Neem and Golly are both gonna go down. This should be a mid win from uh, not Prestige, rat the rats. And you know, I think that mid was already like 45 seconds, honestly. <laughs> a lot of these mids, it really feels to me like Prestige has a lot of the high ground, some better positioning, but each time they lose, what ends up happening is a couple other players just get a little too close to the blob that is the rats. Oh, is Ronaldo caught out here? Yeah, well, I mean, they essentially trade the Soldier Special, one for one. A Juggernaut down to 60 HP after the uh, the attack on him by Gabriel, but he'll be all right. Uh, and now, you know, this is uh, Ratas. They got to they gotta break this stalemate. You're trying to get on the board here in this first half. You got five minutes to do it. Um, 
they've tried pretty much everything except for like offensive sniper, right? They've done a double sack, they've done single sack, they've done spy plays. So uh, we'll see what they we'll see what they cook up here. Uh, again, they don't really. I mean, they don't really have a lot of time. At the same time, also, it's Metalworks. They're okay, actually going to go for the trade. Demo. All right, Chippy goes in right through the left side. Gun goes down. Gollywobbler will die for it, but gladly to take the attention away from the rest of his teammates. And yeah, here comes this Uber Chase. Gabriel comes flying in on the right side with his soldier buddy. They can't really get kills. Javier and Chippy go down. Tomoko, wow, Tomoko lived with like 8 HP. Oh, and Okayu ran in very kind of uh, blindly, might I add. But then the back half... Nah, no one. Oh, oh, he rolled the scout, and it actually will force the rest of, uh, well, for a little bit, they had to force Red to stay on the point. So, just under four minutes now, Prestige should absolutely Blue be able to catch that. going to try to hold this, it looks like. Oh, man. Uh, Wait, Javier okay, no, is in no, no, ramp he room. It. He is behind, but he's not going to be able to get to last. Cap, yeah. He could get a free demo, though. Okay, all right. And he might win the 2v1 or the 1v2. Ooh, he got Cristiano Ronaldo down to 3 HP. Just a I little bit better of a rocket, and he would have gotten those two kills there. Blue's back in. Yeah, a little bit of, like, I mean, I don't know if desperation is the right word, but, like, they, they just got to go because not much time left in this half. Uh, that scout is kind of... Giving them the monkey business going in from behind in Valley, I believe that is uh, Andy. Yeah, he's still just, you know, distracting, being a little pest. Gonna collect the health pack and then maybe go in for a, a cheeky little kill, although Tomoko is just staring at him. The Uber comes out of red. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, he doesn't quite have yet. Oh, and they do. Andy does kill Gabriel, so the <laughs> he's giving them. Uh, he is giving them the rat business to the rat team as we see Exelor come flying in with the tail end of this uber. They're going to try and kill Trizza. Oh, it's a 1v1 in ramp room. It turns into a pseudo 2v2 and then Tomoko kills Andy. Uh, Trizza goes down. It is a player advantage now for uh, for the rats. They're getting oh. clean. This could be a good fight. Yeah, but the scout goes in a little bit too quickly. Does Exelor. Although Tomoko comes in, kills uh, Ronaldo. Oh, but look at the health. It's just Some so bad. Oh, oh, but they just crashed the point. Okay. The rats are on the board. Two to one now. Looks like I was wrong. Yeah, we didn't get a 90 second round, nor do we get the 3 0 half coming up from Prestige. So, somos, somos las ratas are, uh, you know, putting up a fight, and that's what we love to see here. Um. Give me... I guess I'll go to Exelor here. We'll see what Exelor can do. I'd really like to see more aggression out of these teams on mid. I think the first team that starts really committing, like like this, what's happening out these soldiers, uh, they back off a little, actually. Holy Trizza. Oh, oh Neiman. See, now Prestige is all over them. Let's see if it works out for them. No, it doesn't oh. look like it will. Exelor going for the melee kill. Ill-advised. He's actually on the winger, but that makes sense because his metal works, and that's going to be a full wipe there coming out from uh, Prestige Roll. Why, here, here might be your 90 second round, JoJo, as we do have the, the GG lag, but that's with only 90 <laughs> seconds left, it is a, you know, not a spoiler. Not. Yeah, round or not, this is going to be over soon. Full add here for Okayu, so um, this is their you know best chance to tie things up right away and get a 2 2 halftime, which would be. You know, pretty good considering they were down two rounds just, you know, five minutes ago or whatever. It'd be a big momentum swing for sure. All right, well, what is the defense here from Prestige? They got Andy on heavy. They got the gun on the right crates. Uh, well, look, we have seen some suboptimal Ubers, let's call it, from uh, from Blue Team. This time they're going to go through Boiler. They use through. Demo skybox. Demo skybox. They haven't killed the gun just yet. Golly goes down. Soldier gun goes gun down. down. Uh, they the, killed this other soldier. It's looking really good. They tried to focus the Pudis, but he's still got 95 HP to spare. Oh, and the, the players are all falling like flies. Jug is at 85%, 90% Uber. If they can just hold for another couple of seconds, and they will. With Wow, Neem? Neem Hello? really clutching there. Yeah, and then looks like Trizzle will clean up the final seconds of this first half. We are now... In garbage time, unless absolute someone no clips the last uh, ten seconds left, <laughs> and uh, you know, let's okay, hold on, Jug, are you gonna pop for the stats? Let's, oh, and he does. Of course he does. Jug's been around. <laughs> hey man, those ESEA stats, those, those those meant something to some people. But all right, well, we have a two-one half lead for Prestige Worldwide. Um, 
again, pretty much as expected with uh, how Metalworks tends to go. Uh, we can maybe peek the logarithms. SV cheats one. Yeah, you could have just snuck in to last. Um, and even then, I don't even know if they would have made it uh, from where the, the closest blue <laughs> player or red player was. No, blue player, excuse me. So let me see if I can't find the stats. What do you think we're going to see here? Well, just looking at it, no logs, it looks like the teams are saying. Bruh. Bruh. Wait, no, I found them. I found them. Oh, we got them. Okay. Maybe just not showing up on the server then. So, just looking at the points, I'm going to guess that Triza, probably the player for red. Uh, Although, yeah. Honestly, Neem really seems to be uh, pulling it out when he needs to. So, Neem is for sure having a great half 21 and 10, 250 DPM. Um, but Triza is 27 and 11 with 275. He is top Ooh. damage, top kill, almost top assist if it wasn't for Jugs, you know, 16, but he's playing Medic, so those are pretty easy to rack up. Um, you know, Chippy has some good moments, but he's kind of struggling on the stash. He's got a, you know, 0.5 KD, 7 and 13. He's only doing 120 DPM, but again, there was a lot of stalemating, so, you know, part of it is from that, and then also part of it was, felt like in the longer rounds, um, his team was the one holding mid. Like, the two rounds that they lost in the beginning, right? Let's see. Yeah, so the rounds that the Rats lost were 7 minutes and 16 minutes, and then the rounds that they won were 4 minutes and 2 minutes. So, um... Yeah, honestly, I feel like Triza has kind of been bullying Chippy. It, it feels like it will. He can just run in and, and, and trade. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's really not what you want to see. We saw that kind of happen pretty early on. Um... Meta comparison, 5 deaths for Okayu, 3 deaths for Jug, uh, 13 Ubers each, Jug with one drop that we saw at the end of one of those mid-fights. Uh, the Soldiers, I mean, they, they're they sacking, right? So, like, because Kali and, and Ronaldo are not having a good time. <laughs> Although Kali does have 6 air shots, let's go. Um, the stat that truly matters. Exactly. The Logs, air shots, the most consistent... And reliable stat you'll ever find in TF2 history slash S because that's just not true. Um, space made isn't shown on logs. Very very true, <laughs> Haku. That's what that's what that's what soldiers are all about. You make space in 2021. Soldier, you know, gone are the days of the the reptile soldier. Gone are the days of platinum soldier. Gone are the days of the uh, Lansky. You know, well, now it's uh, now we just kind of exist if you're a soldier player. That's kind of all you can hope for. On the other hand, you can make a lot of space with damage. That's uh, that's very true. Uh, and we are going to go live here. So, uh, two one half lead, Prestige World Line. Uh, they are kind of reeling as far as, I guess, the overall momentum is concerned. They were up 2-0. They lost two rounds. Rel you know what? For Metalworks, that's pretty damn fast. So <laughs> we'll see what we'll see what goes on here. I'm going to watch Neem. Actually, no, Triza. AKA put it in reverse Terry. So, just gonna fire his long range uh, Luger Morph shots. Uh, roll up the top right. Both teams again playing it pretty passive, just mirroring each other. No one stepping on the point for now until Triza and then the Blue Scout kind of contemplate their lives here. Uh, they really, really pulled them out here. Oh, Javier came in late outside of his door. Oh my god, I don't know if he hit that. like fade away air shot rocket but uh okayu kills golly i almost i almost thought it was met on med because i'm just so used to golly wobbler being on medic <laughs> but that's not the case tomoko goes down okayu is very very low uh ronaldo needs an arrow he will get the arrow and it looks like uh you know red has successfully bull <gasps> oh my ronaldo comes flying in for the goal aka the drop oh Holy, i'm sad i missed it I kind of saw it from uh, from Okayu's perspective as he was trying to leaf through Valley, but yeah, he did not he did not see it coming because he got kind of rocked as the at least you know the rats did salvage by getting the force out of Jug, so uh, it's only about 15 20 percent Uber advantage at the end of the day here. Um, pretty pretty solid I guess opening to the second half for Prestige because again they not they needed it but like it's good for them to have. Oh, Golly's on shotgun. Mm -hmm. Has he been on shotgun this whole time? Ah. Uh, I haven't seen it. 
Yeah, I was about to. Did, did he die on mid? That might be a last. He push did die on mid. Strategy. Yeah, yeah, maybe. All right. Well, you know, he's, he's gonna try and make it work. Pull out his uh, best side guy impression because I can't really think of any other soldier besides him in recent years that tried it. And by by recent, I mean like the season he was on Froyo, basically. But. All right. Oh, there goes Trizit. Yeah, the the scout sack, the patented scout sack coming up from Prestige Worldwide. He's gonna go spot on sniper or spy. Probably sniper though. Hedge your bets. Eighty percent sniper, twenty percent spy. With the stats from the first half, you know he has to be feeling good about his aim. Mm, yeah. So there it is. He's on sniper. Uh, Neem just taunting away, getting that vision into lobby. Uh... Doesn't he know he can't dead his stickies like that? <laughs> Banny said it was very viable. No, I mean, look, it can be viable. It's just still not seen. You know, it's just them's the facts. Oh, here comes Trizza. Nope, no shot. Both uh, in both both meetings, I guess he's gonna still just hold down this right lane. As I say that, he rotates into left lobby. Now I'm gonna try the shutter peek, maybe get one of his buddies to open that door for him. Golly Wobbler is perhaps the sacrifice. Well, yeah, here he goes. He look, he wants Gabriel, it seems like. Oh, now he swings wide, finally. Yeah, maybe has a shot on Chippy, but couldn't quite convert it. Oh, of course, there was a spy this whole time. Exelor, 0 for... We didn't even know. 0 for 5 now. Ronaldo in, trying to get a, a pick oh, here. Oh, air shot opportunity Not gonna get missed, it. but Javier will get the kill all the same. So yeah, I think Spies are 0 for 7 as Trizza body shots Gabriel into the dirt. Back on his cam. He's going for the far right peak. <sighs> With this pick, he's oh, got lots of room. Oh my god, he had a chance. Could have gotten the gotten the hero the heroic shot. Well, he'll get that one. Now there goes Chippy. It. And I mean, kind of what you said at halftime, Jojo. Trizza just kind of bullying Chippy at will. He's still alive. Well, I mean, obviously. There he's going for the DP. Fire on this heavy. Yeah, he headshot the heavy as well. Soldier it's flying a good trade in. trade for red here, it seems like. Yeah, Exelor's Tomislav not really doing too, too much because he had to have the rest of this Uber. And now, yeah, there's just a sniper in his face. He does manage to escape and go back to spawn as we see Gabriel go down. Golly Wobbler will trade, so no more shotgun shenanigans for the time being. For both of these teams, the, the last pushes have been a little bit sloppy, and it seems like just cleaning up a couple little things could really help them out. Yeah, or, you know, Trezza could just buy a shot the med. That, that head. would help. Just don't miss. Why take an Uber trade if you can just take their Uber away? All right, well, he's going through boiler. He's uh, poking and prodding, as snipers ought to do. Maybe he wanted the Gabriel pick, but, yeah, he's going to rotate back around. I mean, I feel like Chippy's doing a pretty solid job, along with his soldiers just stuffing these doors. Exelor now building up the NG. Oh, he will tempt fate there again, get body shot for his troubles. Oh, and, and uh, Ronaldo's on the backpack now, so just as you know, people in chat were talking about the uh, the off-meta picks, here comes uh, Ronaldo with a little bit of a wrinkle. He's on the uh, battalion's backup here, so. This hat is hideous. Can I, can I just <laughs> say this? Like, I'm, no dri I'm, not, I'm not on the drip check uh, staff, but this... I would give this a, a 1 out of 10. Anyway. Yeah, I, th I think that's what we call a cold take. Mm, okay. All right. Fair. Uh, once again. Oh, he's going to die. Oh, never mind. He's going to destroy Tomoko and live with 18 HP. All right. And that might have gotten him close to... I can't believe we don't have the technology to see the buff banner. Or I don't, anyway. Yeah, Maybe right. the casting essential it, stuff does, but... It does. But it's pretty recent. Okay, well, I mean... The Valid sniper, the fixed. backpack, like, they, they got something working here. Oh, Trizza, how did he get there? Was it the gun that just bounced him all the way to the far right I, I corner? I think Gabriel probably uh, bounced him in. Exelor up 9 HP. He must have gotten, like, headshot or something. Um, all right, well, is he going to spawn back on sniper? No. All right. I'm a little surprised. I, I think he probably wants to uh, let Ronaldo get his banner and then just use that. It, it... Uh... I'm gonna guess he's about halfway after that scout kill and a couple spam rockets on uh, Javier. Yeah, he he's gotta be close. Copium. Um, it, it it's 600 damage and a scout kill is less than 200. 
Yeah, but, but that's a few but spam he was, rockets. He was already firing a couple of spam rockets earlier anyway, so uh yeah, there's no real other cam no other POV to watch right now besides Ronaldo. Um he's gotta get that backpack before really prestige can make any sort of play. <laughs> just just lonely, he's going, lonely going for another peak, boy, try to get yeah. some more spam. Yeah, I mean he, he do be trying. Uh he does find the gun actually, so at least some intel, if not, you know, buffing up that battalions or, or charging the battalions. Now going to go for the, the shutter peak. He should be getting tanked here from Juggernaut. I'm surprised that isn't happening right now. Where is Juggernaut? He's just yeah, he doesn't want to get counter or headshot. We know of course that there is no such thing on the defensive side of the ball. But I mean we're we're right back to the first half, Jojo, with how <laughs> these rounds have been going. At least well, if we if we follow the trends, you know, uh, whenever it's a long round, Prestige usually wins it, and then whenever it's a short round, the Rats win it. So, uh, if the script stays, then we should see Prestige, you know, getting the banner, taking a trade, and then winning off of the backpack. But for now, for now, we will sit here and wait patiently. Or not right. patiently. <laughs> Ronaldo's doing a, a pretty good job of rotating his spam, making it hard for the Rats to know where he's going to peek. Uh, but I, I agree with you. He really needs to be tanked each time he checks one of these doors. He's getting that extra 20 HP as well, so you might as well take advantage of the, the, the full health that you can gain, which is, you know... The power can, of the 330 save. waddle. It could save him. It did earlier when I, he was yeah. 18 HP from that scout. If he was on... Oh, here we go. He might even get a soldier kill. There we go. Surely he's got the banner now. Neem gets he... caught out in forest. Oh. Okay, well, look at this. They actually... Yeah, Neem... He blows the... Yep. They don't. They, the thing is, they don't get the Uber from. Uh, oh, now they do oh. from Okayu, and now the banner is in. But Triza goes down. Uh, looks like ability versus resistance. Yeah. I don't like this for resistance. Yeah. Well, Although, I I've been wrong before. They come flying in new precision. They get three. Make it four. It's gonna be a full team wipe here. It might be an ace even, unless Gabriel gets a one garbage time pick, and he does, but not before his team will. Again, surrender the lead. I guess they never had the lead, but it is now 3-2 for Prestige. I, I'm really surprised to see uh, Okayu force there. He earlier just held, despite being 40 health in the face of an enemy soldier, seemed to do a really good job counting the rockets. And just now he used uh, to a solo scout, who I don't really think was much of a threat to him. Yeah, I wasn't on his cam, but I'm sure that if, had he been able to milk or not even pop, that would have swung the whole thing, because... You know, a much later Uber would have wasted essentially the battalions, but we are on the next mid here. Uh, again, <laughs> the long rounds all go to Prestige, the short rounds go to Sonos Las Ratas, so we'll see uh, what kind of round this one shapes up to be. But Chibi push into Valley. Andy oh, runs in. Triza gets rolled, oh, Andy gets down. rolled. That's very bad news. Here comes Javier high bombing, looking for uh, Ronaldo up in the sky. Ronaldo goes down, doesn't quite get the kill onto Okayu. Uh, I don't think we'll be seeing a fast round here this time around because, uh, you know, Jug stayed that's, alive. That's man's play, yep. Yep. <laughs> Didn't Ratas get two points? Did I fuck up on the scoreboard? No, when you Oops. look at logs, uh, it's because they had mid when the round ended, eh? I think is what you were looking at. I believe it ended 2-1. Uh, yeah, my mistake, my mistake. Happens to the best of us. We are going to see now 2-1, <laughs> two, two round lead for Prestige on Metalworks. And they, well, they don't have mid this time, but uh, the rats, ratas, have to do something. Um, <laughs> I, I almost said hopefully not another Exodus spy play because he's, uh, <laughs> he's not had the best are track they, record. Is it 0 and 8 for spies this game, or is it solo for 7? I think it's 0 for 7. Five of them are Exelor, two of them are uh, Triza, but... Uh, Gabriel oh, goes in the bomb. double high bomb. Gabriel Javier will go also. down. Javier actually still alive, but should go down Surely here unless he the scout chases him. Out. Yeah, alright. Well, there goes the double soldier sack. Um, Andy's pushing very forward into Valley, fighting Tomoko. Oh my god, almost got the kill down to 12 HP. Are they wrapping them? They're, tr they're thinking about it. Like, look at where they Chippy's standing. Oh, no, they turn around. Oh, my Chippy? He almost pulled, like, a dummy during Season 11 lane, where he just 180, like... Two pipe, two kills after a 180. Uh, we got the juggle, the juggling act coming out in uh, Red House. Oh, Okayu down to 40 HP. And now there's a scout in his face. And Triza again, just destroying kids. He's got, he's on a 4K. His team's gonna re recapture mid. Full, well, not full. 
huge add to work with. Oh, Exelor is Javier. hiding. Javier's in a hiding spot. Oh, Exelor and Javier. Oh, he oh. got it! Wow! Clean rockets there. Nicely done from the from the rat soldier. He's going to pretty much equalize. No, swing uber advantage into his team's favor. Exelor did also go last. Down. Yeah, but he's not going to get too hasty. They don't even have second yet. All right, this is a... Uh... You know, one of the more uncomfortable situations to be in JoJo. You're on last, you're down two rounds, but you have advantage, so you got to push. If you get back capped while you push out of this, that's just, oof, that's like a, like a backbreaker almost. But they are going to start walking, actually, before the Ubers even come into play. I actually kind of like this decision. Um, they do yeah, go for, not if they bait Javier, though. I don't like it if they don't get out there. And he's behind? I don't think they know. Oh? He's, he's on last, he's free, he's Oh, uh, well... And uh, what I feared came to pass. We are going to have Prestige sneak the back cap away, slap down any, uh, I guess, comeback potential. Although, it is that giggly guy. <laughs> no, but, uh, it is 4-1 now. Prestige, are, they're, they've cleaned up their act in the second half. Do, uh, do you happen to know which team picked Metalworks? Uh, we can check that after this, uh, okay. <coughs> excuse me, after the map. I would assume, again, logic dictates that Prestige picked it, but we'll see. Alright, this is a do or die time for map number one here for the rats. Sonos Las Ratas have to claw their way back in. They need three rounds in 16 minutes on Metalworks, so okay, we'll see how that works out. Ronaldo from... there has no idea, is there? Oh, here comes the Javier High Bomb. Oh, he's no, kind of beefing the in. rockets, but he might live long enough to... Oh my god. Jug was down to 40 HP. And uh, this mid is probably over. Chippy pipes away Andy, though, who's in his face. And now this scout, Exelor, wants to make something happen. No, oh, he gets piped down by Neem. And uh, it's kind of just the Neem and Trizza show, dude. Like, they are, uh, <laughs> they're, they're doing a lot of work for Prestige Worldwide. Uh, Ronaldo, kind of kind of with a hero bomb, honestly, solo bombed into four players and was still able to, to take out Akayu. Um, okay, so what are we looking at? We're looking at, uh, match, map point, excuse me, not match point, map point coming out from, uh, Prestige, they got full uber, full 40% uber advantage, oh, and there's the GG lag, so again, thanks Valve, thanks TF2, whatever, um, here <laughs> comes Neem through I the main door, I wonder what will happen here, well, they are taking their the sweet ass time, time. yeah, there. what the, okay, well, they are gonna get the gun down, uh, well, not building very well, though. Oh, there he goes. 99% they do use the Uber. They got Pudis out on the field from Exelor. Andy really has to bad run away. Really on Prestige. Don't tell me they get back up again. Oh, no, no, no. All right, well, Red have a reset out onto their bridge. Exelor is Andy one. hiding. Gabriel doesn't see him. Oh, here goes Andy. There are two players on last. You're telling me he wins a 1v2? No, no shot. Way. Okay, he's... Well, he's going to get a free soldier, because that soldier has no idea where he is. Um, and maybe... Oh, well, they're going to win it just because of the, the reverse push, basically. Uh, three players down now on the rats. And uh, I don't know if the Pudis is going to save you guys this time, because Red is rolling right through. Although, I mean, I'll, I'll give it up. Exo lived a lot longer than I thought he would, or should have, maybe. Um... These soldiers are kind of got to shoot too many targets. The final touches on this map number one are being put on right now with a bop from Juggernaut and the Solid <laughs> Vow. And we'll see a pretty clean second half there. Three rounds, uh, no shenanigans from Prestige Worldwide. They'll take map number one, five to one. And we're going to go, oh, they got to re-exec, but we are going to go over to Gully Wash now. Explorer mentions that the uh, the whitelist is wrong. Hopefully, nothing that affected the game. Hopefully, just uh, some hats. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think we saw any um, weapons that shouldn't have been allowed or should not have been. All right, let me check the bands now for you guys. Okay, yeah. So Prestige, you know, did the logical thing they were team a and they did in fact pick uh metalworks if you guys want to know the band process or the what went down so prestige band bagel rats band process and then 
Prestige picks Metal, Rats pick Gully, then the remaining bands were Snakewater, then to Reckoner, and then Sunshine was selected as the final map. So, um, yeah. Kind of so, interesting that. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say we're gonna go for the Gully Wash now. I, I, I had thought, you know, we talked about it at the beginning of the night that we expected maybe the soldiers to have a little bit more. <laughs> I was gonna say a little bit more fun, but like do a little more impact. Um, and now that we're headed over to Gully Wash, maybe now will be the case. But didn't mean to interrupt your train of thought. I, uh, on the same thought, actually, interesting that both teams uh, decided to go with what what I consider to be pretty soldier heavy maps. Gully Wash, maybe even more so than Metalworks. I, I think both teams probably expected their soldiers to to get a lot done, but uh, you know, Triza and Neem just decided we don't need our soldiers. We'll do it ourselves. Yeah, and, and kind of going off the back of that too, with with how well Triz has been playing, like I'm surprised they didn't pick a scout map, <laughs> right? Like I'm surprised they didn't go like Sunshine first since Process got banned right away. Drop knock saying drink Clorox bleach, dude. I already do that. Don't worry, that's uh, one of my favorite drinks of all time. Um, but Gully Wash now, I've seen him drink it. Um, I'm I'm hopeful that maybe again maybe metal is one of the, like the it's one of the bastard child maps in in our scene right now so maybe the rats just weren't as comfortable on it again though they did get one round and almost got two in the first half uh, perhaps gully is more of their playground they picked it after all so surely they got they got some stuff ready to uh, ready to roll here um, I don't know we're we're gonna see Neem I, I again I don't really want to focus so hard on the stats, but I feel like Neem was kind of diffing chippy uh, on Metalworks. Um, and now now we're on a mid where, you know, if one demo is owning the other, it can be very, very difficult for uh, for the, the team on the losing end to kind of get a get a real foothold on the mid. Okay, Trizza went 14 and 5 that half, by the way, so um, that's 41 and 16 <laughs> overall. I think that's pretty good, wouldn't you say so? Seems pretty solid to me, especially on Metalworks. Let's see. Not not really even getting tanked that hard. I, I'm taking a healthy amount of heals, as all combos cost do. Yeah, I mean, 20% X-Lord basically took that same amount. Um, yeah, again, the stats in that second half, if you're uh, rooting for the Ratas, not a fan. Um, not not ideal for them, but hey, this is playoffs. Thankfully, we're playing a best of three. We're on Gully Wash now. They can absolutely turn the ship, uh, flip the script, whatever you know, saying you want to use here, and then bring us to potential map number three. Um, but it all has to come down here on uh, on Gully Wash. Um, I guess I should look at the mids one during that map. Uh, so both teams, each team had two in the first half, and then. Red had two, blue had one in the second half. So yeah, pretty much you know as even as it could possibly be, uh, four to three for prestige. So they were. It wasn't like you know it wasn't like some of the other games I casted earlier this postseason where one team was just kind of getting shredded on mids and just being forced to go back to last or hold second like right away. Both teams are getting equal opportunity to kind of uh, I guess set the set the pace of uh, how the round's gonna go, and Prestige just managed to capitalize it a lot more, especially in that second half. Again, that first half was very, very close, right? Like, it was 2-1 uh, after 30 minutes, and Rats had, I think, like, two uber pushes into last that they kind of just biffed, so could have been 2-2. Two -two. Um, no more two-hour Villa games these days. Well, I mean, I... Metalworks would have been the next likely candidate for that shit, so... Yeah, I think that it's it's pretty cliche, but that match really was a lot closer than the five one would indicate. I think it looked a little more dominant towards the end, but early on they were they were really holding in there, just not quite able to convert the last. Oh, you matches. know what? You know what it was, JoJo? It was uh, it was the law of Marxist. Whenever the first half goes to time, the second half is uh, over in the blink of an eye. And That's on Metalworks, true. on Metalworks, fifteen minutes is basically a blink of an eye. So um, <laughs> now that we're on a. Uh, I won't even say a less stalemate map, but just a different map overall. Hello, RGL underscore Dolphin. Welcome, welcome. We got amateur playoffs, quarterfinals. 
uh, the higher seeded number three prestige worldwide, one map away from uh, punching their ticket into semis. Um, and since they're the three seed, they would play the winner of two versus seven, or I guess two versus whichever. I don't know if seven won, but I guess I could take a look at the bracket real quick. Actually, might not. Might as well. We still have downtime. I am alt tab though, so just give me a give me a shout if they ready up. I'll make sure to. You know, I, I also like not all the players are in the server yet. Also so gotta got say, some time. gotta say, JoJo, we're only at ten thirty, so time wise, I feel like they've been chugging along quite nicely. Again, given that we played Metalworks first map. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Uh, so the winner of this game will go on to play the winner of Brothers versus Monkey. So we'll see what happens there. Um, <laughs> Man, the team names and wait, are absolutely nuts. Wait, holy beast. Uh, the number 16 seed upset the number one seed last Let's round go. of playoffs? Holy crazy. They're the only team the only lower seeded team that moved on to, to quarterfinals so that's wild you got two through eight and then just the 16th seed just hanging out so a big upset there uh murder miami the number one seed going down right away in first round of playoffs that is huge villa was traumatizing yeah i mean i i've talked about it before i wasn't a fan um i would much rather play reckoner than play villa but villa the greatest map Ooh. <laughs> Who's going to tell him? Um, Sounds like he just did. <laughs> Who are we waiting on? That's the other question. Oh, nobody, because they're all in the server. Um, oh, and I mean, look, who's to say if it would change the outcome of the game, but 0 for 5 from Exelor on Spy, that also, uh, it's a, it's, some, a it's something that happened, right? Like, again, <laughs> maybe he gets five drops and his team beefs every uber push anyway and his team loses by the same score or who knows he gets like a 3k on spy the greatest amateur play in season seven and then you know his team wins around they crush the red team spirits or i guess they flip the colors now um but crush the other team's spirits and you know his team mounts a comeback but uh yeah spy plays left a lot to be desired we're going live oh baby so I'm, who do you want to watch Chippy here? I want to yeah. see if he can turn this around. On, on one hand, getting getting uh, pulverized by the other demo can be very rough on Gully. On the other hand, Gully demo is a lot easier. He might uh, have an easier time getting what he needs to do done. All right, so both demos. Oh, there's already a scout <laughs> thinking about getting up in his grill. Uh, but Chippy will just kind of pressure too hard. Yep, he will kind of just link up with the rest of his team, fire a couple of warning stickies. Red team going to be the first one to put some pressure on the cap point, although blue will retaliate with Ronaldo jumping nipple. Here comes the scout in his face. We've seen that happen a lot during the first round, but Jug, Jug first casualty. The soldiers on uh, rats coming up alive, coming up with three kills, I believe. And that's just going to be a full wipe from, uh, well, sorry, Prestige will wipe. Rats will stay alive with three, a combined, like, 130 HP between the three of them. So that's pretty close, um, at least to... Uh, They'll win a mid. They'll be again. Team wins mid. You set the you set the tempo here. Uh, checking for funny guns potentially. Nope. Okayu's on Uber. Jug is on Uber. Red you, team. Uh, you, well, you mentioned the soldiers coming alive. They 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 managed to pretty much land on the point at the same time and obliterated two players. Really good timing from them. Yeah, kind of showing early that you know this is why they they picked this map. Wow in their in their selections here so uh basically e maneuvers again it's like 15 percent add 10 percent add a trap in river Ooh. pretty spicy does he have anyone with eyes on he it can't now? see it at all yeah. now i guess we'll find out if he's cheating in a moment here already well i think he saw the soldier that he time, saw him so come forward that's... and then back up yeah you know what you have cleared RGL anti-cheat. Proceed with your day, good sir. Um, oh, Exelor is in. He, he actually... Or no, he, well... He trades. He, he, they get the, the Ronaldo pick and Javier goes down. So basically a two-man sack. Chippy, just in river. Uh, not really much doing for now. <laughs> you think I... Well, no, Exelor didn't die. He can't go up up spy. <laughs> he's, he's being <laughs> reined in. <laughs> he'll, he'll find a way. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, where's this gun from Andy? Golly's on sniper? Yo, golly sniper? Oh, he's golly spy? Yo, I haven't seen this in a minute. He's golly wobbling. Golly wobbling? Oh, no, he's checking classes. Yawn. 
All right, the gun is just. Oh. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. We banned wobbling. True. Now the gun is pretty much in one of the standard spots, I would say. Just staring at, being able to stare at river. They've got two players in water. I'm here, Trezor. very weak. Six health. He's gonna try to get an arrow. Xlor's still down there, though. Yeah, Xlor's bodyguarding him, making sure soldier gets uh, healed Looks up like with Ronaldo two arrows. Knows. Ronaldo is gonna be walking into a two v one soon, but. Oh, he gets the terrain advantage and basically trades for both of them. The Uber comes uh, out. What the heck is going on right now? Cap time? Hello? Oh, nope. Chippy goes down. Uh, Okayu goes down. That'll be the end of that. Oh. Gabriel? Oh, okay, Gabriel. He gets the pick onto uh, the medic there. The team will essentially wipe with Javier and Exler just respawning, but uh, this is, will be a second retake for Prestige. I gotta do a HUD reload scheme. It seems like their plan was to uber trade as a distraction while their two players stood on the point. Uh, but the the blue soldier there definitely put a stop to that. And I don't know why they would choose to go for such a risky play this early. Oh, Ronaldo high up in the sky. He's going to land right on top of the point. Oh, I think he hit that rocket. I'm not entirely sure it happened so quickly. Blue actually managed to sneak the cap. Uh, Lots but of they lose two for that. Ooh, Neem. Is in, well, he's, he's got height advantage. He'll be all right. But Jug is Gollywell? not. Oh, Four oh, players Javier. down. Oh, did Javier just, just roll Gollywog? Oh, no. This could be around here for Sonos Las Ratas. They are going to walk through Shutter. Maybe go low main? Uh, Javier under the point. Ronaldo knows again, it looks like. Yeah, Ronaldo should be able to win this 1v1. Oh. Oh. What? How did that rocket not hit? I, mean, I can't believe it. Is he out of ammo? Oh no. He gets out. He, he is out of ammo though. Alright, okay. he gets some ammo. He'll be alright. Uh, more importantly, his team's got full uber advantage. Well, 50% uber advantage. So I'm gonna find the chippy cam. They're gonna start strolling in through river, I imagine. Yeah, here comes the They're bomb. The use. Uh, what's he gonna get? He's trying to shoot this heavy, but they managed to kite away into spawn. Now Chippy's trying to clear the stickies. They do get two picks, so this is actually really, really good still for red. Although Jug is coming up on that Uber, 85%, taking a heavy. Oh, they're putting a lot of cap time on the point. Jug is at 95, he goes down, and the rats, they will draw first blood. This is their first lead of the night, JoJo. 1-0 on their map pick. You know they're gonna be feeling good about that. That push took a little longer than it needed to, but honestly, it felt like they were really control the whole time. Okay, so big plays coming out from uh, pretty much everyone on, on the rat side of things. So we are going to see mid number two. Uh, rats did win mid number one. If this knight has shown us anything, we're probably going to see uh, the reverse happen. Although this Javier soldier, oh my god, Ronaldo. <laughs> Javier goes in deep. He goes for the air shot. Hit it, hit it. Oh, oh gets the final rocket. Not an air shot, but hey, we still get the medic pick. Unfortunately, take those. unfortunately his team has kind of evaporated. Um, oh, although Javier will get a pick on to... Okay, he's cracked. Domico has, has health still. He, he could honestly win this. He could help his team. He could get... Oh, golly, wow. They're shut the back The 1v1. Down. You gotta think Tool, Trizza has yeah, the advantage here, yeah. yeah. 22 versus like 90 and Trizza will win it. Golly and Javier, by the way, each got 3k, uh, got a 3k on that mid, so the soldier's absolutely coming to life here on Gully Wash, as expected. Our team is back in. They want to try to take this back, and I think it's a good play. The blue spawns aren't quite here yet. Okay, they kill Ronaldo, who was uh, up, in, up in Chippy's grill. They lose Okayu, though. Trizza comes in and sneaks past them. Golly Wobbler on a 2k now. Exelor hiding an elbow. Do they know? I don't. I don't think so. All right, but keep it on his uh, POV for now. He's gotta go soon, otherwise he's just. He's gonna go the wrong way. Oh, though. he's gonna find a soldier, but oh, he just gets owned by Golly Waller. That is unfortunate. Now Javier doing a high bomb, but he will get eaten up as well from Andy. And now, uh, this is what 60%. Sorry. Yeah, about 55% Yeah, yeah for, for Juggernaut here. They should be able to uh, take this, no doubt. Uh, I'm only level 2 for now. Well, yeah, they got... I think they'll get it to level 3 just as they push in, because it looks like they're going Shudder. Uh, they actually walk in without popping. They get in so free. Look Deep at, milk. What? Okay, the gun will basically contribute to the force. Deep. Uh, and Okayu's only at 75%, so he needs to hit Andy an Uber star. Blue team losing players. 
They're getting some cap time though. Neem does get cleaned up by Javier, and actually that's just gonna be a full wipe and there they from don't Prestige. Even enforce. Wow, okay. They got in so deep, Jojo, I thought it was like looking super good for them, and then it just kinda went to shit. It, yeah it's it seemed so good. <laughs> it was so good really until bad. it wasn't. Uh, Ronaldo gets chewed apart by two scouts. Oh my god, Trizza goes down too, I... so hold hold on Andy, now. Andy? Oh, they use, they, they use their Uber. They're trying to go deep. Tomoko really wants this medic pick, but this soldier is going to two-rocket him to the ground. Oh, golly wobbler, protecting Juggernaut from uh, stray <laughs> stray scout scatters. As we see, Neem pipe down Gabriel. They, need, they need to take down Neem here for sure. Yeah, okay, okay. all right. He will go down. Uh... Ronaldo is in forward spawn, and Jug is at shutter with Golly as well. So they, oh, he walks out. I don't, maybe ill-advised. Yeah, I think he's just gonna be free. Yeah. All right. I, I think maybe he thought his team was gonna support him from the big shutter. Yeah, and honestly, it may have worked out if they had. Yeah, maybe just like a miscommunication. Because uh, I agree, if Golly maybe walked forward as well with with you know the beat behind him, they could have they could have possibly turned that fight around. Uh, so Jug has Uber, Okayu's coming up on 80%, so uh, more stalemates. Um, more importantly though, for, for the rats, like this is this is great, right? You were on your own last, facing full this ad, and now you uh, you know you've gone coast to coast with a chance to go up 2-0 here. Uh, yeah. I and at this point, now you know you can win a round without even winning the mid. That that feels feels good. Yeah, yeah. Builds a lot of confidence because you know even even if you can't quite figure out the mids, which is not the case. They they're one and one, I think, and even the one they lost was fairly close. Yeah. Um, by the way, Javier just reminded me that he's on Market Gardener. I don't think we've seen him you know even use it a single time, much less yeah. you know get a kill with it. We we've seen two head kills and zero Market Gardener kills. <laughs> I'm very disappointed, Javier. Well, he I, did li a little... I like this gun positioning a lot. It makes it really hard to follow the medic without spamming the gun down first. Oh, yep, just hanging out by the front pillar. Uh, and they have uh, Ronaldo like pretty much holding down river. That he does spot the soldier going into water. That's Javier. So uh, maybe no trying train. to go for the duel against two players. He will die already. I don't think the rat's water play has really worked out yet. I, I want to see them try something else. Yeah, I would much rather see like a double sack. Meanwhile, Golly went in from stairs, got about 60 damage into Okayu, but no pop, no harm, no foul. Uh, you think he'll open the... No, Exelor I think is still on beam, so yeah, he's not going to run back to sp go for spy or off class or anything. Uh, and Javier has rolled out, so uh, yeah, back to the drawing board for them. I would like to see the standard double sack, like one soldier from balcony, one soldier from river, like a scout from river, anything. Although the gun is obviously a huge, uh, a huge thorn in their side right now. You know what I want to see, Terry? I want to see pain train come out. Mm. Yeah, but but also kind of like what you said earlier, though the water play hasn't really been working. Although this time Javier breaks <laughs> Ronaldo's ankles, <laughs> though they do eventually the trade. trade. This time. Yeah. So uh, Andy going down to 37 HP. But no, uh, no, uh, no further aggression really from uh, from the rats. Oh, it's like we're on Metalworks all over again, but it is a playoff stalemate, so I'm not going to fault these either of these teams at all. So, uh... Still... Oh, wait, Javier's on heavy JoJo. So we'll see. We'll see what the plan is for this post-uber-heavy Pudis push. Uh, usually you're going to take, like, a trade and then end at a door near your heavy so he can come in and get crit heals and be nice and nice and buffed a big beefy boy although this soldier is gonna figure it out he's uh At least they know now now they know yeah so it won't be much of a surprise anymore meanwhile here comes the putus through the shutter uh all right goes down. the uber does get four oh, actually no both teams use their uber excuse me uh well i mean is this gonna be a push out i think I Surely. think, yeah, with with two player advantage, Golly's already clearing through a uh, baby door. He could, he could get behind them. This could be very bad for Red. Uh, Golly doesn't know. Oh, he had no idea. Oh, and he just gets bounced around awkwardly. Okayu goes down because he was caught between a rock and a hard place. Are there any gremlins? Two scouts going for last, or at least one scout. I saw one going through. Exelor's gonna there, go fight a heavy. heavy there. Two, two oh, but he's going to spawn. Maybe. The heavy went to oh, spawn, and then Exelor no gets the way. cap. Wow. 
Can you fast forward, said Dolphin? No, I wish I could, though. The rats living up to their name. Neem, very wholesome player. Nice round, nice half, nice back cap, nice shot. Yeah, that's all going to go away by the time he reaches main. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big back cap from Exelor. I, that heavy must feel so foolish. Yeah. Cause I, I, I want to just... see if these rat soldiers can, can keep up their strong mids. All right, well, uh, the answer is not the scouts. The scouts have certainly seen better days as Exelor and Tomoko go down. Gabriel goes down. Gollywabra is chasing. Oh, but he beefs his jump. And now, he, well, he just cleanly put Javier away. Uh, he won't get the med, but he will secure positioning on second with the rest of his team. Um, Ronaldo is with his medic walking through baby door, or big door, excuse me. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Okayu having gone down means... Uh, 50% ad for Juggernaut. Prestige in a position to get their first round of this map. Yeah, with, with still oh, like 16 minutes. On Ooh, yeah, they must be. Yeah, they, they're coming for the Terry school of building Uber here. Look at that. <laughs> they're going ham, 90%. Uh, by the time they get in through River. Uh, what is already in by himself. Wait. Oh, wait, maybe... Oh, no, 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 I'm so stupid. Okayu never died. He just, you know, he just ran away, so that's where the disag came from. So it was just a standard sack coming out from Trezor. Oh, <laughs> goodbye, Javier. A standard sack coming out from Javier. Living the rumor life. Will Trizzle play way. his favorite class? Yes, sir. He's on the Australian man. Alrighty. Well, he's uh I mean, uh, let's let's be real. He's the only player that has done anything on the off classes so far. I guess the guns done stuff, right? But that's just you know. The heavies he, and the guns, yeah. yeah. As far as pick classes are concerned. He has a shot on Chippy. Ooh, okay. Goes down to 36. Well, we got Tyga in the chat. Maybe Tyga can give some of his energy to Trizzle here, and he can rip off a, a disgusting hero shot. Um, but for now, just kind of lurking and loitering in low main. Uh, he's going to go peek again. Not really anything. Body shot's a scout. That'll look nice on the, the DPS logs, but or DPM, excuse me. But he's going to rotate. Maybe try the... Whatever you want to call it, the awning, the hero, the hero peak. Oh, and he whiffs it, swing and a miss for uh, Trizza here on that on that attempt. But you got to think if they keep giving him shots, he'll hit something eventually. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, oh, just like and that. There it is. Oh, and while he was getting the gun out, okay, oh. nice little two for for uh, for Trizza here. And now uh, Red Soldier's getting really aggressive. Did they actually they use Uber. I'm Interesting decision like here. This. Much later pop coming out from uh, Okayu. Chippy will get the bulk of this Uber. I'm pretty sure it was just demo oh, solo versus it's be demo a solo. Here. Yeah, alright. Well, I mean. Neem in? What? And Andy gets gets kind of mulched. What? They just. They just lose two. Uh, make it three. Okay, three man sack, but now you only have a demo and a sniper? And here comes, uh, here comes the scout here? with ill intentions. Exelor should go down, though. Surely? Surely? Okay, oh my god, it took a while, but Nima will, will clean him up there. Uh, and he basically just delayed the hell out of them, if they were trying to do anything at all. But Oh, is there a conch? Some... Taiga's eagle eyes have spotted a conch. It's on Javier, I believe. Javier, the banner specialist. Yeah, he's he's, you know, trying to trying to make it work. Oh no, he's not on the banner. Uh, maybe one of the blue soldiers. No, 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 neither of the blue soldiers. Okay. Javier just doesn't know what he's talking about. Maybe they switched off. Oh, but oh my God, Ronaldo! Oh my God, he got Okayu down to 40 HP. Okayu managed to duck into secret. He needs to be careful. Yeah, he's standing on the point. This is kind of precarious, especially when the sniper is still in play. Gabriel loses his head, and uh, Trizza is low main. Uh, Okayu is stuck in secret. Oh, this is such a, Not a good awful he's position. Kind of heavy with that, yeah, but it means they can put so much cap time. time. Oh, the Ruber comes out. And then the demo gets headshot. Chippy goes down. It is a horrible turn of events here. Gollywobble is just... Yeah, they're just going to get right in. They're going to crash the point. Heavy goes down. Should be around here for it's Prestige. Uh, okay, here come in the players now. Yeah, there we go. All right. That that bomb from Ronaldo set the set him up, right? Like, he pushed Okayu into secret. Trizza was in low main. And just they got so much cap time. It forced the Uber. And we're, we got a 2-1 game.
Okay, uh, I'm going to give it to, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, one of the world's most famous footballers. He's going <laughs> to waddle through lower. He's going to counter jump this soldier. The Gabriel should go down. Pull it out hard. This looks very good for Prestige. Yeah, uh, well, it's going to be uh, it's going to be the rats with the first three picks. Although Golly Wobbler trying to get the kill onto Chippy, but he actually got a nice arrow. Oh, but Okayu is going to get caught. Yep, he'll go down. And Neem... Wow, he had enough hops to, to surf over that rocket, basically. Although the scout, oh, Chippy and Tomoko kind of clean it up late, and they're going to get the medic pick, uh, essentially equalizing the Ubers and at least guaranteeing the mid. What, what a roller coaster of a mid that was. There was a lot happening. <laughs> it looked good for one team, and then it wasn't. And it looked good for the other team, and then it wasn't. And back and forth the seesaw goes. Uh... Red took a little bit of a yard fight, but since their heals were still rolling back uh, from spawn, they had to just cancel and reset on mid here. Uh, any funny business with the medics? No. Ubers on both sides. You don't really see crits much at all these days. It's an endangered species, so... Um, Especially well, on a map like Belly Wash, we're walking through any choke right. without invincibility. It's going to be a death sentence. These chokes are not... Uh, not the not kindest. Meant for walking. Yeah, they were not meant for walking. Oh, but you know what? Chippy and his soldier buddy say, you know what? Screw your. Oh, here comes a high bomb as well, though. Ronaldo going in right into choke, and it gets cleaned up by Gabriel. So actually, that single the sack. The rats are all the way in. Yeah, the rats are in. There is space made. They lose Gabriel, but oh, Chippy didn't know he was being shot at in the back. The Uber trade comes out. It is a four v three. It's advantage rats here, especially if they can Let's kill the Trizza right here. Difference here. Oh, Tomoko's not shooting the scout. Oh, why is he not shooting the scout? Okay, well, One more Okayu. Scout. <laughs> He's so weak. Oh my god, this just... Ronaldo's in? They're going one by one. Can but Ronaldo Okayu get the kill? Baiting very hard. Nice. Really that's, good job yeah, there. that's excellent stuff from Okayu there. Not... I mean, I'm, again, I'm going to say it. Not so great from Tomoko. You just want to shoot that scout there, my friend. You kill that scout, that medic's going to do absolutely nothing. Because your scout partner was shooting their scout. Uh, you can turn that 1v1 into a 2v1. Put your team in a great spot. Gollywobbler hiding in lockers, by the way. This is a, you know, potential half, potential halftime 3-1 lead for Sonos Las Ratas. It looks like Okayu's in river, though, so this, this lockers play is not really going to work out. He might catch, like, a, you know, a flank player going through balcony or whatever, but he will not affect this uber at all. Wait, they're going to go, right? Okay, yeah, they're... they're they're, they're in. Go. All right, a little bit of hesitation because it's going to cost them the first seconds of their uber. They will kill I'm the gun. Water fighting us uh, heavy. Golly does kill Exelor at lockers, by the way. So, And he's coming in late on top of Chippy. Gabriel's going to try and crash the point. It's 2v4, 2v2. The head. The head. And it's only Tomoko. He gets cleaned up by the rockets. Ronaldo gets a 2k to help defend last. Uh, Jug did go down. That's the saving grace for the rats. Uh, it looks like Prestige should be able to cap up second. But again... Even Ubers, they won't be I wouldn't be, be surprised mid. to see the rats peek in here and try to refight this. Yeah, they got all their forwards. They absolutely could and should. Uh, Javier, like Javier wants yeah, to he's already at the choke. Uh, never mind. No, they're gonna, they're gonna relax. They're gonna play they it safe. They've got a lead. They don't yeah. take a risk. Got eight and a half minutes left. Uh, they do still again up one round. You know, slow and steady wins the race eventually in a playoffs best of three. So. Uh, they're going to work the flank a little bit. Now Tomoko's thinking about peeking. There are stickies around that corner, though. And yeah, his soldier partner has spotted him. No funny business, is there? Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, both teams uh, getting their Uber in the next couple of seconds here. 90% on Jug, 100% on Okayu. And uh, it'll be the Javier show, I imagine. Or, well, yeah. Javier is not going to die to those stickies. He will take a <laughs> decent damage from them, but he'll get an arrow. He'll be all right. Well, maybe we'll see the patented, uh, you know, throw a flank player in through Baby Door. Uh, the Demo Man is very aggressive at Big Door, so they could throw a soldier through Choke. Oh, but Javier is being kind of left out to dry here. He's up against the wall, and uh, yeah, Andy's just going to be like, all right, thank you for the, the very kind donation. I will take a free soldier pick. Ronaldo in oh. on Chippy. Chippy oh. goes down. And he's still in on the medic. No, he won't connect Lots the rockets. Of distraction. They, sh they can get him to choke pretty, pretty much for free. 
Wait, Got they're, they're back capping, right? Oh, but Andy it. just absolutely right, dumpsters. Back there, but I don't think he's going to be able to... Yeah, he's going to fight a 1v1. Yeah. And it's actually like a 1v3. Yeah, and 1v many. 1v a lot, yeah. And uh, yeah, now now Tomoko hiding in big door, but that's the wrong angle there, my friend. He gets chewed apart as well. Golly's already on mid. Um, I like the attempt at the back cap play, but not when your medic drops Uber, so... Uh, they'll have to try that again, maybe later, or maybe they'll just shelve it completely. We'll see. Uh, I mean, oh, oh okay. He, he was uh, behind, uh, fighting a 1v1. Yeah, that, that drop is looking to be very, very costly here for the rats. They are now on their last. They got, they, they are building quite well, 60%. Um, again. Okaya's, no, so this Okaya's, shouldn't take very long at all. Right. And here comes the double sticky jump. Oh my god, he's in. He's in, but he's getting juggled. I don't know if his medic can catch him. No, Javier just cleans him up right away. They, uh, still need another they kill did here. kill Okayu, actually. So Tomoko goes down, so it's looking pretty good now. I think Blue's going to be able to win this off their heels. Uh, never mind, know, the heels big, that they no longer healthy. have. 144 on Exelor, and it's only Neem. And he was the first death during that, uh, that push, so all right. Uh, the rats still, you know, very much in it. I was gonna say I'm I'm getting a lot of uh oh, one v one Gabriel and Neem. Oh, Gabriel wins it. Pretty pretty big one there too, because now you don't have to worry about stickies. You can get this cap up and go straight to mid if you really want to. Um, I'll say I'm getting deja vu from the the, the first map. Obviously, with the roles reversed, one team goes up 2-0, and the other team starts clawing back. Uh, Gabriel has spotted them. Oh, I thought he play. spotted him, but yeah, big play. Renato kills Okayu. They could still shut this choke down. They should still be able to collect the oh, point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Andy's going to go down. Um, but again, not before the damage was done by Ronaldo. He gets the medic. 80% on Jug. Okayu's not even alive yet as Exlor runs back to second to, to taxi his medic back out. Um... You think we'll... Okay, if you were main calling for red, would you rap here? Would you call one? Or would you play it safe? Uh, pro pro probably not while I was up rounds. Especially on a point like uh, Gully Wash, where they can just stand on mid and outcap you on two. Because if you're rapping, they're going to get to mid before you get to two, surely. Surely. Uh, Javier and Lots Ronaldo. Of on Jug already. Oh yeah, he's down to about sixty. But look at look at Okayu, his demo, and his scout. They are literally on second. So mid just got started capping now, and uh, you know the rats were were long gone. And and honestly, good decision because they're already at eighty percent. Gabriel going down late, uh, almost killed Neem, but that is not going to be a kill at the end of the day. Should buy enough there, time they for. Ninety-five percent yeah. for Akari, though. Oh boy, here comes Triza. He Doing wants the right to thing, get the staying on the high ground. Pick. Ninety. Okay, it actually is uh, Okayu that pops first. Triza has a. L well, no, both teams are trading and, and flashing a lot. We see. Both uh, go down. Yeah, both demos die. That's rare. First casualty on both sides. Oh, but Triza wants the oh. kill. He does not get it. Excellent protects his medic, but for how long though? Oh, they're slowly there's... picking off these blue players one at a time. Yeah, look at Javier. <laughs> he's, he's stuck in the rock. He's got an HP. Oh, no. He's, he'll be fine. The only player alive he's is Jug. Out. He's getting out. Okay. Uh, oh, Jug is being chased by Tomoko. Nice arrow. And that might save him. Oh, no. Tomoko gets the final scattergun shot. And that's a big, big medic kill there. Uh, yeah. Mid's going to go down. Very late. They should be able to get oh, two, man. honestly, just on heals alone. And that'll set him up for last. Okay, but Gotta Golly. Be good if you're a Rats fan here. Golly's hiding in Big Door. Uh, there is Ronaldo above Choke as well. So both these soldiers trying to, you know, ruin the Red Team's day. Ronaldo gets called. He goes Thanks. in. Oh, okay. 60 damage onto Akayu. Golly Wobbler will escape, knowing that his uh, his buddy has died on the opposite side. And uh, yeah, here comes here comes a great opportunity for the Rats. So. Um, I almost said the believers, but the, the rat fans <laughs> rise up because uh, they might go three-one here uh, in the first half on their map pick. Three minutes left in uh, left to go. Here comes the Zuber. Here comes Chippy. He's focusing the medic. The be oh, they are shooting the same thing though, and it's okay. The heavy should go down, but not before the gun kills Chippy. Gabriel's gonna try to play the point, but he just eats a ton of spam. Now it's Tomoko's turn. He stands on the point. He got about sixty percent of the cap. It's only Okayu and Exelor, and they are gone. They have to run the hell away. 
I, I really expect them to clean that one up. I, I know I, I criticized a little bit of sloppiness in their other pushes, but I thought that was going to be a big enough advantage to to close out this half. Yeah, that was like 80% Uber ad, but the Uber, mm -hmm. their Uber itself just wasn't very good. They they split targets, like Chippy wanted to shoot the Medic, and then he wanted to shoot the Heavy, and then he got killed by the gun, and it was just, you know, it was a, a big giant mess from there. So, uh, Juggernaut has Uber, Golly Wobbler is poking, and they're already getting in through Big Door. Deep, yeah. yeah, Javier goes down. Red they rapping? lose. Well, oh, they're they're going for it. Yeah, they they decide to pull it out now. But here comes the it's Uber. Yeah, it's it is late. far too late for them. Oh, but Jug, uh, I don't know about running up the, the platform on two in front of a scout. And, and uh, yeah, mid will go down thanks to Andy capping. And now Andy's gonna be the one back capping because uh, Gabriel is uh, far far away. I would I would have liked to have seen uh, seen Prestige just ignore the wrap. They had enough cap time on mid started. They could have just left them back there rather than going for that sloppy fight. Ooh, okay. I I agree with that. Uh, they would have out capped him for sure because again, gully mid and gully second cap at the same speed. Uh, meanwhile, because both meds died, you know we're back in this uh, you know even situation, and there's only 60 seconds left on the clock here, Jojo. So if you're Prestige. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this aggression at Big Door. What? I'm really shocked by this, you know, play call from, from Red Team because they're going to lose all, like, they're going to lose their whole team here. And they did not kill Jug, so they didn't even salvage that. This would be, uh... Javier? So, oh, no, no. they... Okay. Thank you. They sacked five, man. I don't know. That just seems so bizarre. And Xlor is going to go down to Neem here with a okay. minute left. This is... Look, I, not to be too oh, overly critical. Oh, oh, hold. Juggernaut feeds for the point. They don't get it. Is it a hashtag not punish situation? Golly Wobbler's the lone survivor. It's looking 20 like 20 seconds. It. Can he do the hero play? He's going in. And he bonks his head on the thing. And he goes down. So, all right. they. I think that they should be counting their lucky stars uh, that... Uh, <laughs> the prestige yeah, players they, did not capitalize off that because that was a huge mistake to push out through big door when there was a minute left you know? even if that fight had worked they they probably weren't getting around yeah because right? they... both meds were still alive Oof. all right well the first half is in the books and it is uh you know a, a flip of metalworks this first half with sonos las ratas taking a 2-1 lead we'll peep the stats although i imagine these guys are gonna, probably going to ready up pretty quickly they've been doing a good job on that all night i'll we'll give it up props to these 12 players uh but let's see what we can find here on the stats wow javier really really turning around I, he didn't have a terrible uh what metalworks but having an excellent gully wash Oh my god, yeah, 28, 21, 250. Is that the most on the server? Yes, it is. Uh, I mean, I think all the soldiers are obviously enjoying uh, this map a little bit more, at least, again, stats-wise. Uh, what are we looking at demo department? Chippy is uh, 15 and 12, 214. Neem is 17, 13, 245. So not a huge diff, especially compared to what it was on Metalworks first half. Um... Okayu got 12 deaths, Jugs got 13. Uber differential is two more for Okayu, but also one more drop. More importantly, Okayu has three frags and Jug has none. Come on, Juggernaut, you gotta step it up there. Bring out that fragging class, you know, player in ya and get some get some kills this <laughs> half. We, we know you can do it, Jug. Honestly, Okayu I, might be the player who's impressed me the most so far. It's it's not really that uncommon to see a, a more mechanically talented player kind of kind of tear through these lower levels sometimes uh, but okayu just not every time he's had a few slip ups but a lot i see him bait when he needs to hold when he needs to uh, yeah. i think some of these mistakes might just be nerves honestly yeah i'm thinking back to the couple of those times that choke where he just you know put himself in the perfect position to avoid as much damage as possible uh, and keep his keep his life safe uh, and keep his uber safe so two to one lead for las ratas um oh i had to check the mids two for two or two each two apiece so again this is pretty damn even and again metalworks was a was a five one but that first half was was really really close as well so we're going to see if uh, the law of Marxist strikes true once again, or 
You know, if we're gonna get some more back and forth crazy action, if uh, if the rats can keep it up, they would win this map and then push it to push it to sunshine here. So we are uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, it's been honestly a great game so far. Really can't complain. Like the stalemates are whatever. It happens. We're in playoffs, and we were playing Metalworks the first time. So I hope Tomoko's here because this team has readied up. Alrighty, everybody like is. is good to go. So Javier, you get the cam because you were the player of the first half. Let's see what you can do with your one round lead going into mid number five. Uh, just rolling right out through the lowers. Waddle D, waddle do. It's actually going to go into his again. drop down. This is interesting. I don't see this every day. And he's just going to go right back down it. So meanwhile, the frags are kind of falling. Uh, what? What is what is going on? All right, red team is in. Our blue team's in red choke. Red team's in their big door. Uh, they might isolate the soldier. Oh wow, golly gets the kill onto Exelon before going down. Javier will stand on nipple, eat an arrow for his trouble, and uh, you know, Sonos las ratas will win the mid. Really surprising to see to see them win that there. Chippy pretty much immediately got locked out of choke and didn't really get to play the game for that mid. Yeah, they were but, uh, they were in their big door while the other team was had the high ground and they and they the team with high ground lost the mid, so that's kind of wild. Maybe they uh, maybe they overcommitted. Uh, thinking, all right, we've uh, we've we've what's the word I'm looking for? We've caught this demo out. It's time to kill them, and then they just weren't able to. I think what happened was like they when they were in choke for prestige, like instead of like rotating to like point and trying to get position there, they just tried to bail through a short. Right, and that's when Golly got caught and the rest of his team escaped. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, maybe just wanting to uh, play it safe. Ooh, Ronaldo, you are not fooling here. Javier. Yeah, oh my god, he's down so low. Six HP. All, All right. this room, I'd, I'd like to see a player go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Tomoko. Tomoko, yeah. He could fight Golly. Oh, actually, he won't even need to fight Golly. Sniper, they know. Oh. Where is with he? A, with a pick and Tomoko behind. Sort of. It's going to be a pretty good opportunity. Oh, Trizza almost got the body shots. Tomoko actually leaves through Big Door as well, so the flank has vacated the premises. Um, I'm kind of surprised slash intrigued as to why that was the case. Tomoko could have absolutely kept running around behind. Like, you know Trizza's on Sniper, which means one less scout, and there was a soldier pick on your in, uh, in your advantage. So, uh, well, here comes Javier, and he's Ronaldo dead. in behind. <gasps> he's all Ooh. over the Oh the... my god. That was that looked so close from from Ronaldo. So, oh! Golly, follow up. Beautiful perfection from him and he just chases in cuz he knows the other medic was weak and now Triss is just going to run right back to spawn. The scout comes in trying to kill Neiman actually does. So Tomoko gets a gets a little bit of a war crime there. Should not have let that happen. Uh Exelor's going for the backup. He's going to run into Triss right here. Although actually, blue medic has not even moved. Back there, yeah, yeah, they haven't even moved. Gabriel was really slowing them down at the choke, so. Oh, kind of like unintentionally uh, mm -hmm. mess things up for his teammate there. But, uh, well, Jug's got full Uber. They can uh, surely push in through big door. It looks like they're going big door. Andy. No, out. Andy's going to run in. right up. I don't think Neem's going to get anything here. Yeah, but the two soldiers. Wow, the two soldiers oh, on red are so hurt. Go. Yeah, they get cleaned up. They lose three, in fact, due to the rats. And, oh, yeah. Trizza can't really chase. A nice jump there out from Chippy as well. So, uh, they are going to lose mid. Are the rats? Mike, not get. No, they're not getting forward. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. I, was, I don't know why I thought that they would have. Um, and now uh, Okayu has 30% advantage, so once again, the, the dreaded question of pushing out from last while you have advantage, fearing a back cap, though this time of course they were they're up around as opposed to being down two, I think it was, when they got back capped on Metalworks. Uh, but they got a Pudis, so I don't... Well, he's going back to Switch, hold I, on. I think they're relaxing. Okayu hasn't really gone anywhere yet. Yeah. I say, of course, as he drops to the floor. Maybe they're they're gonna. River. Okay, they're gonna do the keep the heavy on last strat. Uh, here they go. They use Uber, but they drop Gabriel and Juggernaut might not even have to pop here. Although no, he eats a hundred damage meat shot. He will respectfully pop. Uh, they do just get a bunch of frags Before left and right. The Pudis, can he save the day? 
He's I, not being I, tanked, so I'm gonna guess no. <laughs> Xmore, unfortunately, kind of getting caught on the on the floor on the point there. Uh, if he'd have been on the high ground, I, that that may have gone a lot differently. Able to be tanked and just able to be involved in the fight sooner. Okay. Well, we are all tied up very early into the second half. Prestige Worldwide have uh, that set two to things two? back to two to two. Yep. So, uh, you know, momentum. Wearing a blue jersey right now. Uh, I'm gonna watch Andy this time. I feel like I haven't really given him the cam too too much all night, but uh, just holding up on the far right side. Both teams mirroring each other as they often do on gully wash. Explore kind of ratting about on the floor. He's he's okay. on Joe. Okay. No, only Golly People Wobbler down yet. Here. Oh, Juggernaut. Oh, he lands onto the floor and Javier picks now him up. Now they just need to play on Akayu. Akayu knows, knows that, getting health. Yeah, Tomoko's got a, well, baby buff. Uh, I think they should be able to win this. Tomoko gets a Trizza, and it looks like the rest of Blue are gone. Well, actually, Andy will, he's gone, but in a different way. Uh, as we see Neem Peak choke and be like, you know what? Not today. Maybe I won't go in. Maybe I won't feed and uh, cost my team, uh, you know, the easiest last push. Wait, is he behind? He's behind. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's why he peaked. Okay, he's well. A, he's essentially trading his time for Javier, and you've got to think that Javier is okay with that. Yeah, Javier's like, all right, guys, go, 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 because this devil man, actually, he didn't even get the spawn camp. So if I'm Javier, I would even, like, well, I guess Just you take this him, fight. I, think. I mean, he's going to win it. I think. Okay, yeah, he wins it. This pyro, by the way, from Andy. Very late. Stuffing the stuffing the Uber, but then there's cap time on the point. Juggernaut's gonna be the one to go fight it. Oh man, that feels bad when you're the oh and Jug dies to Okayu. <laughs> on the solemn bow, so Okayu fragging. It's an awful I'm feeling. Telling you, Okayu, player of the game. Awful feeling as a medic to be the first one to stop the point, uh speaking from experience. I'm gonna go with twice as many points as uh the next fragging class on his team. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I mean... They really he's... seem to have shut Trizza down. He, he's not quite having the yeah, impact yeah. that he was earlier. They, uh, you know, they learn from their metalwork the shenanigans. Slam their faces together. Ooh, Golly Tomoko. 1v1, that guy. Ronaldo down. It's it's looking real good for the rats now, all of a sudden. And by all of a sudden, I mean, like, you know, the last, like, two minutes or so. But, like, that's another solid mid win. They only lose Exelor. They get three picks in return. They could even go to two. Yeah, they're they're going through a uh, through big door. Is Okayu and Ni uh, Chippy? Oh, the soldiers. Have they? Yeah, really they done the their job. Yeah, the soldiers. Both the soldiers just forced the rest of Prestige out. Alrighty, well, uh, even Uber's here. Where is the Triza gun? It is. Behind the point. Oh, all right. I don't really see that gun spot very often anymore. I feel like yeah. it used to be a lot more common. As a soldier, can't you just like cheat it? Well, as we see Javier and Ronaldo train. Yeah, it's pretty spammable. Yeah, that's why we, I think we don't see it very often. Okay, mm well, uh, maybe Javier will open the door for Exelor, or he will. I don't think Javier's off class a single time, right? So he's more of just kind I don't of. Think a, so. He's he's more of like a, a Krasian soldier compared to like. You know, a, a muse soldier. As I say that, he goes pyro. Yo, he's going pyro. He's more of a Muma soldier apparently, because uh, <laughs> he's he's gonna he's gonna try the Muma ruined a generation of soldiers. <laughs> Muma and Jay. Oh, he can't even climb up. He's so excited to play pyro. He couldn't even walk up the ramp. He's he's uh he's on power jack, so you know he's speeding back into the fray. Maybe uh, maybe he'll, he'll channel his inner grape. Oh yes, sir. Uh, he's gonna go water. It looks like. Maybe Chippy wants to trade? Yeah, they go in. <laughs> he dies to the <laughs> trap, dude. No. Oh, no. And the gun is now going to shut down Exelor, who was only 44 HP. Right. So The rat's hoping for a reset here at this point. Down two soldiers. That, uh, that was not how they drew it up, but let me tell you that much. Um, yeah, meme poking at the shutter door. The scouts want to hold the door. Chippy's giving it Holy up. Holy Exelor was just up in his grill, but he will get taken care of. Uh, Trizza's left the gun on last, so no back cap shenanigans. Neem should oh, go down. Neem. Yeah, he goes down to Javier. Valley Wobbler gets an arrow. Gabriel fighting a 1v1. He wins it despite the arrow. And now it's 4v4. Gabriel sees that the heels are coming to the big door, or they were, at least uh, potentially. 
And look at this, the big door. Yeah, they, they had to give up big door. They're out. Oh, Ronaldo should have Raps enough health to in. jump Pretty away. Solid positioning here. Yes, Ronaldo escapes. As long as Gabriel doesn't feed, I think that they should be okay here. Ronaldo, 1 HP. He lives. Even Ubers. He is Ronaldo, after all. I mean, listen, he, he's he's tussled, uh, you know, One with of the many. greatest footballers of all time. Uh, that's just facts, so... He's trying to be the Ronaldo of TF2. It's in his name, literally. So Javier wants to be in water. The gun not covering the point right now. Ooh. The heavy knows though. Andy's covering oh, it. Oh, and he will die to the heavy. He almost. Well, I guess Andy would have lived even a direct. Maybe the, the sixth time Javier has, has died in water. Dude, yeah, the water plays just don't work out. Meanwhile, uh, Ronaldo trades with Exelor. Golly and uh, well, Golly goes down as well. So two for two. Exelor's Exelor's definitely coming up spy. He's like, dude, it's been a whole map. It's been a whole extra half. They're not going to see it coming. It's been time. They it's forgot. time. It's time. It's time, JoJo. <laughs> it really was He's time. on spy. He's ready to go. Attempt number six. Will he finally get his first big spy play of the night? He oh, has he weaseled his way in. Oh, he's by the forwards, or not no the forwards, but he's by the spawn. But look at Andy, oh, the spy checking. checking. Back, back. RGL, RGL Dolphin, Dolphin, investigate this man. Dolphin, you saw it. I guess you're not a part of the anti cheat but I don't care. It's still funny. Um, Well. He has RGL on the same on Twitch. He has to be the guy. True, true, true. So true, so true. Um, Well, back to the drawing board. Exelor. Surely he won't go spy again. Surely. He's going to go sniper. All right. Uh, up around, I, I, I think that's uh, probably the yeah. smart play. Listen, you, you, you got, you got the round lead. There's still eight, uh, 18 minutes is a lot of time, granted. But you know, you want to chip away at this chip, chip away, haha, <laughs> whatever. But he gets uh, jugged. Oh, what? I wasn't Body even on his cam, game. bro. Doug had no idea. Body shots the heavy. Dude ran right away. Chippy gets lots of space on the right. Javier's just gonna Good go right to the point. That's just gonna be oh, Chippy, three kills for. That chippy, young man. Chippy, and chippy. Match map point. We're one round away for or one rat round away from seeing a map number three. We saw in the stats the the projectiles for rats have really come alive this map. Yeah. Um, for those of you at home, by the way, so Exelor goes spy six times, doesn't get a medic pick. He goes sniper one time, instantly gets a medic pick thinking emoji uh i'm watching gabriel <laughs> go in deep he has a great bomb but he's gonna shoot the medic and jug with a beautiful uh, nice serve but he actually oh he doesn't get away though unfortunately the rats are gonna lose this mid unfortunately for the rats fans they are gonna lose this mid right this is like the star wars meme all over again but yeah it, yeah it, 10 hp between gabriel and javier <laughs> they're they're long gone oh well, Javier, Javier, the biggest chat of our generation, the the salvage, the freest soldier pick, or excuse me, demo pick of his life. Alrighty. Oh my God! What the soul? Suddenly, a soldier appeared. <laughs> I was watching Triss's cam running back to his forward respawn, and I just see a red soldier flying right in. <laughs> uh, but Gabriel, they're gonna ignore him, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, that, never uh, mind. The they are not gonna ignore him. him. <laughs> that was that was the right play. Combo doesn't waste their time. Oh, and they are. They're getting clapped on mid now, JoJo. They've lost three players. They've already lost mid. Where's Alcayu? Is he gonna get out? Yeah, he should get out clean to last. Yeah, and prestige. They, have, they had to roll this right away. Yeah, they're leaving Andy on the point. Triza's in through lower main. Soldiers and are gonna bomb in. And they're out through lower main. Like. Okay, the spawns come in. Pretty, uh, oh, pretty man. mature this... decision there, not to overextend. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and now we're. Now we're in that, uh, you know, for any NFL fans, Red Zone fans, this is the witching hour because, you know, you're, you're up around, you're on your last about 15 minutes, 16 minutes Frizzle left to go. In. Oh, um, all right. So does Golly, to... two man, unsuccessful. Not a, not a huge deal. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty standard stuff. Uh, will they entertain a push? Uh, Gabriel sees the, the blue They're devil, man. They're pretty slow. Yeah, this is actually really the slow. Spawns are already up. I, I don't. He's backing off though. Give yeah, him room. Maybe just lulling them to a false sense of security as Okai drops to Ronaldo. 
Gabriel trying to salvage with something, but he's going to go down. Tomoko might lose this 1v1. Never mind, he will get it, scout class. Uh, but, man, that is that is super, super Try tough. Again. That drop is... Uh, what is Trizza doing? <laughs> he was just in last already. On um, Sniper, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess sometimes when you got to go, you got to go. Yeah, it, it, prob probably just trying to die and get on scout for this push. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh... That's reasonable. Look at you being all smart and shit. Uh, Exelor has a level 2 gun, just pretty much cozied up right by the point, so they will have to turtle up big. Um, the score is 4-2, to two, right? So even if they lose this round for Sonos Las Ratas, it's still alright, because you got a one-round cushion, one-round buffer. Um, Red, Blue Soldiers are trying to look 70%. for the gun. Yeah, they, they, they do be building Uber, as we see uh, Golly go into water. In water. Have they forgotten Javier, about... Oh, here they go. Oh, Okayu at 96, 97. Hold Is down the right-click, gets the Uber. Another critical really play from Okayu, there. yep. Uh, and they get Neem. That's no demo, man. Andy's going to slip into water during all this chaos, but he will Who's run in right into last? a soldier. Uh, Exelor here, holding down the point. Yeah, Gabriel gets two kills as well. Exelor on heavy. Was that, you know... You gotta wonder if that was their last chance. I'm gonna assume not, just because, you know, the way that the, the, the series has been going. Left. Yeah, it's been pretty much back and forth all night long. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have uh, Bread Team recap their second point. Even Uber's 15% ad. Um, Probably too small to really do anything with. Yeah, it's just a matter of, like, has the desperation set in for, you know, prestige? Do they think, like, okay, let's just go in super aggressive with this slim ad? Why is Tomoko 15 HP? He's living his best life, to be honest. Ah, okay. You know what? Respectable. Uh, you probably didn't see it. Neem puts uh, puts nice milk in chat, complimenting Okai holding down the right click. What a, what a wholesome TF2 gamer. <laughs> Little does he know, Okai desperately trying to get that. <laughs> yeah, you know what? He won't know won't hurt him. As a uh, golly is uh, yeah, poking and prodding through big here. door. They, they want to kill. They must Trizza kill. gets in behind. Ooh, I'm gonna go for Trizza. They might Trizza. not know. He seemed to get in pretty clean. Oh Exelor's not looking for him. Yeah, he's up top, but unfortunately, you know, that's not really where the medic is. Although he's going he's right in, in down on a Caillou. Ooh, gets about 60 this damage. Look at the health and the Ronaldo. drop again, Ronaldo. Another huge. That's. <laughs> I was about to go go. I almost said the same but thing. But instead, it's drop because uh, that is another big one. Tomoko gets Neem yet again, though. So, I mean, I gotta hand it to the rats. They do, in fact, rat around and salvage by getting at least a couple of crucial picks whenever they lose their medic, but um, that's another huge drop by Ronaldo on top of Akayu. Where is this red soldier? Gabriel is up top in heaven. Um, he's gonna see Andy walk towards the point. He's gonna see the medic just fire some spam rockets, but yeah, Juggernaut's not gonna get hit by those. He's kind of epic. And, uh, well, why is Tomoko AFK? Now is not... Okay, I was about to say, now is not the time to be AFK. Alright, well, Jojo, we've seen uh, Prestige kind of beef and uber push in the last ones. Multiple times, even. Can they? Will they do it again here? As They're Neem, showing their hand here. Yeah, the they shutter. get bounced at the shutter. Already, it's a, little, it's a little floppy. I mean, at least this time, Okayu is nowhere close to Uber. Ronaldo goes down. They lose Andy. They lose Trizza to the gun. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they, they really Ugh. just... They stood at the shutter for a few seconds before using it and give it, giving the rounds all the info they needed to, to be safe. I think both medics just traded arrows there. Um, as, it did uh, sound like it. Okayu will just, you know, cleanly walk onto second point. They got full Uber. Again, this is still, you know, map point for Las Ratas here. Oh, they spot the flank early. Now the flank has spotted the Uber early. And what's happening with this Uber? Ronaldo goes down. I don't think they're Blue really getting anything else, though. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm not going to ask the same question. They've, they've tried to wrap a couple times already. Are they going to go for it again? I, I if, if I was calling, I would do it. But, well, you know. You're, you're Terry. Yeah, I, I am not Okayu, so. It, it uh, looks like he's backed up in a choke. He wants to play it safe. I'm a little worried about Chippy here. The soldiers in the blue choke. Wait, down Neem, Neem dies? What the? Okayu the does go down, can... though. Tomoko's behind, too. Three behind. Oh my god, they did I'm it. They're going for time. it. 
Oh, can they pick the right door They're to spam? Players back. Javier is spamming it. They're actually going to get the cap. Oh, so close, actually. Neither cap goes down. Oh, and Andy, red you team wipes. There. You could have committed. You'd already have mid. But a wife's a wife. you got to be happy about that. Alrighty, well, the, the third, I think, the third rap attempt has also failed for the rats. And now Juggernaut's got 40% advantage. They're three down, they're going to come in pretty much for free here. Yeah, Exelor just uh, leashing his medic far, far away from the enemy gamers. They are very scary. All right. <laughs> uh, Terrifying, even. Third time. Um... Exelor probably tries to change class outside of spawn. Let's see. Yep, he died <laughs> right at the shuttered door. No! Uh, he'll be up in two seconds. It'll be all right. Pulling a uh, Ash, I believe that was. Oh yeah, and here they go. They go in. Uh, this Uber, not the greatest, but they're gonna start. Yeah, they're gonna start getting some cap time. The Red Scouts drop to the floor. Uh, but Neem again. I feel like he's just been dying. So, <gasps> so much cap time, and they get it. Oh, they they found the you off the point for the cap. He got his Uber, but was in the air. So is this uh, four three for the rats? Is that correct? Yeah, it is now four to three with nine minutes left. I was gonna say that I felt like Prestige have done this so many times where they, they lose their demo man first in a fight. Um, and often cases when they had Uber, which should basically never be happening, but who cares? They got the they got the cap presence, they converted it. Name gets a lot of pressure early. It's only a one round differential now. There's a scout on the floor, soldier comes flying. Oh, yeah, in. Weak on the floor. Oh Big but the damage. Ronaldo goes Crazy down. bomb actually. Yeah, I got good Javier, damage, but here comes Golly. He wants the medic. He gets him. Oh my God, are they gonna are they gonna make Is this gonna comeback? Happen? Golly Wobbler with another three K. Honestly, buying a decent bit of time here for his almost having no health. Yeah, but he will go down to Trezza. Almost wins that. Yeah, twenty six HP. Fat meat shot. Man, it is. Uh... A little scary this now scary. for the rats. You had a 4-2 lead, and you're on the pre like the verge of, of having the game be all tied up. Okayu is not going to get And without Uber. the momentum. Yeah, and here comes the blue They're all ready to come in. They're going to get in. Neem goes forward. Early they kill Exelor. The stickies on the point are being cleared. Gollywobble goes down. Chippy Looking goes down. Good though. for Prestige. Yeah, I think Prestige this, yeah. are about to tie up this game right up. here. Ooh, man, four to four. Your playoff life is on the line for if the if you're the Rats, and your points are on the line if you're a Rats fan. We'll see what happens. Are the points on the line? I didn't think you had a a prediction. That's the word. Oh wait, you're right. I didn't get one going <laughs> for this map. Your imaginary oh, fake points are on the line. Your imaginary fake points on the line. This is the first time I've uh, not run the the predictions. My mistake. But here we go. Four four. They're this is the rubber the round. Already. Oh, excellent! Oh, going to be the first casualty. Yeah, and then it'll we'll call you down. Gabriel joins. Jug does go down at least. Yeah, that's the key thing. There. Javier. Oh my God. If he knew how hurt that demo man was, he would have jumped in with no hesitation. But instead, going to try and fight the three players on point. Ah, I don't know about that one. I, I, well, I really want to see the rats just try to slow it down here. They, they've sort of lost all this momentum. They need to reset. They, they've been outplaying them on Gully Wash for the most part. They just need to slow them down for a minute and then, you know, get their bearings and then they can start playing the game again. But on last, that could be a little bit oh, hard. Oh, Jojo, we finally have the first Chris Krieg of the night juggernaut. They're trying to make the home run play to seal the deal and eliminate Sonos Las Ratas from amateur playoffs. So this is the Neem cam. Like, I'm not going to lie. He, I feel like, again, he's just been getting owned a lot. But this is uh, this is the redemption arc. Because if he hits the, the hero crits to, you know, seal the deal... Um, that, They're gonna have to go right on the dot. Yeah, they need to go. They need to go fight. fast. Here we go. First crits is popped, and he gets nothing. He gets bounced. His second crits gets nothing. His third crits gets decent damage on the heavy, but he will die. And they get the force, but three down. This should be and a push. Jug is now stuck on crits oh, and Golly dies too. Yeah, that's that's four players down. Yeah, and now yeah, like you said, he's he's not gonna be unless he runs back to spawn right here and switches. I would almost mm. even maybe like to see it because yeah, it, it when be you're stuck play, on crits, yeah, that's that's really He's really tough. Stay. Pretty sizable at this time, at least, and they get a lot of forwards to hold mid with. Uh, I'm surprised I, they aren't. Well, 
Uh, yeah, they, they have to respect that the crits is coming up anytime soon. They can just get nuked on the point. Javier is just literally standing in big door firing rockets. He sees them walking towards Joe. So back to the Neem cam I go. Traps on the door. Soldier comes get... through. He gets that down to 20 HP. Oh, beautiful stuff from the rats and this crits. Oh, call you might go down. Oh, the final. Well, not the final shot, but oh my god, is that it, Jojo? They get Jug. Javier. The soldiers salvaging here a bit. Uh, but it's only Gabriel. Can... Oh, okay. oh, he might have I been able to kill. Oh, but here goes Trizza straight to last. There's only two seconds left for Tomo, Chippy, and Okai. Trizza's going right to the point. He's waiting in secret, actually. Did they see him? I don't know. I don't it think doesn't so. look like Tomoko expects it, but Tomoko's about to peek secret right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe they did see him. Okay, because Tomoko was definitely looking for him there. Okay. Five minutes left in map number two here. Are we going to get the clean 2-0 from Prestige, or will Sonos Las Ratas bring us to map number three? Uh, will Jug have gone crits again? No, yeah. yeah. Triz is going to go sniper, though, so... Can he go two for two? He's peeking through On Gullywash, at least. Oh, no, that was... Oh my god! That was such dangerous positioning from Okayu. Like flirting with absolute imminent disaster, but not punished. Uh, and now looks like Trizza will try his shot at the hero shot. Not being pressured at all. Wow, yeah, that he actually was not shot at <laughs> for like four seconds there. That's crazy, but... Um, he's going for balcony! And he hits the shot. shot. That could be the dagger here, folks. Golly, Golly goes down, goes but down. I mean, that is scant consolation. Okay. Yeah, Tomoko is in. in secret. They're just going to walk right Chippy into the point. Chippy surely goes down. Chippy goes down. The heavy's already weak. Yeah, I mean, Trizza Only dies. But... And, and, and Okayu has respawned, but is it enough? Jug is just fighting on the point. What? Okay. Um, oh, Andy? Andy comes Andy in late. But Exelor has full health, and Gabriel managed to clean him up. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here, oh. Jojo. Prestige worldwide, not able to convert these last pushes. Terry, that could have been you pick it. These games? I'm just a savant, you know. Block TV. That's how we do. Uh, they have Tomoko as the insurance policy on uh, on last, but looks like I feel like you gotta go. But I mean, three minutes. Maybe they're just scared and they want to play for overtime. Jugs if on Crit Screen again, by the way. I, I turtle for sure. Oh, and that could that that's a benefit for prestige now because yeah, it's gonna work out for the scripts, yeah. Crits advantage, Neem he's gonna have a redemption arc to his redemption arc because that first crits did not work out. And what I thought was the slightly the, bigger advantage this time around oh, too. Yeah, yeah, much bigger. What I thought was the dagger from the, the Trizza headshot might be a crit sticky this time. Tomoko holding close to the door. That They're actually going low main. And the first crits, he gets he gets chippy. He does not get the medic though. He died right the before we could death. Oh, Tomoko Jug gets a kill. Down. Oh, Looking good for prestige. that another three v three, but this time Jug Healthy is alive. Stuff. But, but Exelor kills Jug, and that's no a two v two. It's no only way. Andy. How? No How does this soldiers. keep happening? The soldiers on on on, on oh rats. My oh my god! And now there's two minutes left to go. I can't even. Golly wobblers and big door. If, if Neem dies here, this. Really bad. He might get the kill though. He's been fighting here alone for. There he finally goes down. Oh, that's a great trade for the rats, and they're going to be able to get second. There they're is a Pudis. They're really weak on two. There's a Pudis on they Andy. They need their players to come in oh, and help no. them out right away. Okay. Oh. Maybe All they're, right. Maybe they're going to give this up. Yeah. Now, now you're in. Now you're in full hold last mode. Is Jug still on crits? No, he's on oh. Uber. Oh, oh I, I just saw Okayu's help go down. Yeah, that's supposed to be what you reacted to. literally on his head. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We got 60 seconds. But GG lag. Okay, again, inconsequential. We don't know what will happen here. Oh, man. It's, it's, it's 90%. They actually have small ad. Do they Is know? Default? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're both on Uber. I, I think they're just going to trade it. With the heavy, but with that player going down already, Triss is going that, sniper. I mean, that that means no more scouts. All right. Well, the situation is this: if you're prestige I don't think worldwide, you, can go sniper. you don't want this push yeah, without a single true. scout. That's true. That's um, true. I think he has to come up scout, and they just do a trade. 
for Procedure think... Worldwide, you got a minute to win it. If you're Sonos Las Ratas, you're gonna hold on for dear fucking life to force a golden cap here. Uh, 30 I, seconds I don't like left Andy now. Here. Get it. No crit heals for Andy. Uh oh, my HUD is in? borked because I looked at the engineer, but Prestige okay. Uses. Javier goes they down. Get they get the gun. Uh, there's a scout dancing around in secret. Should get cleaned up. But then look at the look at the presence on the point. 15 seconds oh. times two. Oh, but the picks are in Red's favor. Uh, this Pudis is still 150, and it's only Okayu. Oh. <gasps> and the backbreak, the heartbreaker loss from Sonos Las Ratas. They lose the point oh with my. like eight seconds left oh. to go. What a game! Wow. Oh my God. Prestige Worldwide second half comeback. I mean, they were down 2-1 at the half, but still. The heavy, they, yeah. They, they didn't start the second half off great, so I mean, yeah, the last, yeah. the last half of the second half. The heavy was the solution, you know. Turns out after all those times, JoJo, it wasn't the sniper, it wasn't the crits, it wasn't the pyro. It was the heavy. He gets the job done, and Prestige Worldwide get their job done, and they will move on to uh, semi final.